Texas Audio. One second, you guys. Imagine this stream where literally nothing goes wrong, dude. I think it'd be impossible. Uh, let's see. Let me. I think that's literally impossible. Let me just let it do its thing. Yeah, so, so we're going to do, let's do a poll for the stat, you guys. That's what I think we should do. Um, I guess I can do it in one second. Okay, audio should be good now. I guess just whenever we start the game, tell me if there's anything wrong with it. Okay, let's. What what stat are we thinking? These are always fun runs for me to do as well, so it doesn't hurt. And yeah, we are. I, I um. Oh yeah, no, I I ninety nine point nine percent of the time I forget to change that go live notification because I forget it exists. But uh, let me start a poll somewhere. Oh, here we go. New poll. Okay, what stat? Um, okay, we there's five options, so we'll get we'll get vigor, we'll get mind. Uh, I guess we'll get. I don't really feel like doing intelligence because I feel like it's gonna be super slow. But there's three more other options. How many stats are there in this game again? I think there's eight, right? But yeah, we did bringo practice last Thursday. Um. I think it was, uh, went okay, I guess. But yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I was saying we're going to do more practice tomorrow with Bree, I think, for a little bit, and then we'll do God Run 3, most likely. Okay, so there's, let's see, so we got, we've done, we've done Endurance, and we've done Arcane. So, Vigor, Mind, Strength, Dex, Intelligence, and Faith. So, we'll put, I guess I'll put Intelligence in there. Int, we'll just go, I'll just go in order here. Oh, wait. I mean, yeah, int, strength, is faith going to be the odd one out, or dex? I'm going to take dex out. All right, here we go. We'll put it up for, we'll put it up for two minutes. Bigger mind, int, strength, and faith. All right. Hopefully I did everything correctly. Let me see what I I don't know. I think I I'm not going to say what I'm going to want want to do because I feel like it's going to sway the voting, but I think I know what I want to do. Okay, it's between mind and faith apparently. <laughs> the gazillion dex views. No, dex I mean dex and strength are probably the least interesting. I think, I think, um, yeah, dicks, dude. Yeah, I'm Australian, though. Only one guy voted Int? That's actually really surprising, dude. I, I thought Int was going to easily win. It looks like Faith's probably going to win, but it's still going for a minute, so... In the meantime, I guess I should uh, move this timer. It looks really bad. Can we make it big too? I think that's probably how big I normally have it. Yeah, I'll, I'll say what I wanted after the poll. <laughs> Imagine I was the one guy who voted intelligence, dude. Vigor would be least interesting. Uh, well, I'm going to try to make every run interesting by kind of building making a build that's on theme for it so if i made a vigor build i'd probably just make like an insane tank build just try to take as many hits as possible but but the damage stats like in strength faith and dex are all kind of what you expect i'm just gonna go with like those types of weapons okay so faith is is faith one i voted for mind i think mind would have been hilarious because i, I would have just done like pure ash of war spam all day long maybe maybe 
I'll give you the best nut ever. All right, we're going we're going faith though. That's surprising, dude. I'm really surprised people pick faith for this. That's very surprising. Uh moisturize, thanks for the um brand new sub, dude. I appreciate that. All right, what should we what should we name this faith character, dude? Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut so, ever. So, Boopus, thanks for the brand new prime sub. Ash Divorce Man with 15 Endurance. But, yeah, I guess so. But it would have been funny to do, like, Square Off Spam and, like, Moon Vale Spam and all this. Oh, I guess maybe not Moon Vale. I'm not putting... <laughs> Jesus. Demand repentance. Cough up your coin. Bobby Wiener as well. Thanks for the 420, dude. Hashtag Manscaped. Gino has no hair lower than his goatee. Green screen. That's actually true, yeah. It's it's all like CGI, maybe, dude. Maybe I'll give you the best. But yeah, as as we ever. always start with these classes, as I as we come up with a name. Have a great run, Gino. Uh Rath, thanks so much for the um seven month prime sub, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, as we always do with these runs, is start with the class with the most of the stat. Just cause why not? Which is the profit. What's the, what's the name of a prophet, dude? I guess... I guess... Jesus was a prophet, right? Or... Am I wrong about that? Okay, fine, 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 fine. We'll go... Jesus 2. Uh, we'll go... Well... I guess this isn't really... <laughs> Isn't really okay. New new character, new name. I'm sorry. I what's the new name? Cause yeah, I I just I can't spend two hours in character creation here, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, second. <laughs> there we go. Certainly not demonetized on YouTube. With one M. Second coming, with one M. <laughs> All right, dude. Okay, so as yeah, so what we normally do with these runs is we uh we do a different build for each region. <clears throat> and we do region lock, of course. So, our first build is what? Catch flame spam everything. Seems simple enough, but maybe not super interesting. we kill this guy man what are some cool faith build stuff though because i don't want to just go like all incantations but we can go maybe dragon incantation somewhere we can go uh like we can go with the different types of incantations yeah lightning fire fire lightning Science script. Yeah, no, I, I, I did, uh, I did hear about that. Is the the too much repose damage? It's kind of funny. So what's our limb grave build then? I'm thinking. Also, I assume the audio is good because nobody's saying anything. Cipher pot would be funny, but I need too many runes for that. So maybe a bit later. Even though I've I've already used that weapon though, so I'd rather use something else. Oh, inseparable sword, actually, maybe. You j you kill D for that, right? Oh, golden halberd. Yeah, I guess so. That's a lot of strength, though. Which I, I could go golden halberd, I guess. Hmm. This is. I, I'm gonna have to like pull up the wiki here, dude. To see what kind of options we have. I've definitely used more sorceries in this game than incantations. Oh, the grafted scion weapons. You're right. <laughs> oh man, are we gonna have to restart this here? Maybe they're not maybe. really faith based, like they kind of are, but but they're holy based. Did I've killed scion, dude? Uh, Verdi, thanks for the four month reset, dude. Should I've killed scion? Should we restart this? <laughs> yeah, the third coming. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I guess we'll do it, dude. I kind of forgot about those. Okay, fine. We'll do it. Maybe, maybe. Goodbye, the second coming. The best not ever. The third coming maybe, is coming. Maybe. Groovage, thanks for the 18 month resub as well. All right, profit. Third. Coming with one M. All right. Surely, surely I'll first try this kill. It, that's a good start. It's a good place to start because we're kind of like doing it before we even reach Limgrave anyway, so. I think it's good, and then, yeah, we'll, you know. We'll swap to some spells for the next region. So we could parry as well. Yeah, we'll definitely go dragon incantations at... I, what region would be best for that? Probably one of the later ones. Just so we can have more access to the spells. <laughs> Think it's possible to kill anything with Whirl of Flame? I mean, I would assume. I just realized I'm actually not going to be able to do this with only Catch Flame. Really good damage, though, I mean... I haven't used Catch Flame on this boss in a while. Oh yeah, I don't even get a blue flask, dude. God damn it. It's gonna take a while. Get that fat repost, the fat 110 repost. Look at that damage, dude. Uh, no problem. All right, there we go. So that this is actually, <clears throat> I like this weapon. It just is not that good. Well, I don't think, but maybe, dude, it's fourteen decks. We can't even wield it. Uh, how much decks do we have? We have 10 decks. <laughs> we can't wield it, bro. I was gonna, be gonna just go kill the <clears throat> the other guy, but I don't think we can use it. And it doesn't even scale with faith. Well, we get some extra runes, I guess. Yeah, I knew it didn't scale with faith, but it does have like a holy buff at least, but I guess we're actually just not going with that. The fourth coming. <laughs> Apparently is gonna happen. It's fine. We'll get some extra runes. That's no big deal. But we I mean, nah, I don't know. I guess we'll do something else. Yeah, the Charger 2, when buffed to that weapon, it's, like, it's weird because it hits a lot slower when you're actually hitting an enemy. It's like the game lags or something. Sort of. What other I, I Golden Halberd's kind of a Golden Halberd's definitely not a bad choice, man. I just I feel like it's been too much. Like too many people have used the Golden Halberd for us to use it, but we could. The Wing Scythe. Where's that one again? I can't remember where that is. Oh, that's in somewhere in Weeping, right? How much, how much faith is that? It's just, isn't that like an, an atrocious weapon? <clears throat> or is it not that bad? Yeah, we could actually hit 30 strength with the Physic, right? That's what's so good about strength builds here. I would like to try the Coated Sword. I don't know where that is, though. Oh, 24 faith. Yeah, we're, I mean, I, I, at 16, I could maybe hit that. Oh, the Bernal weapon. Or should we just go incantations here? Because that would be the, the easiest thing. Just like fire incantations for this section. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Bradley, thanks so much for the eight month resub, dude. Yeah, Blasphemous Blade would be a good call, except putting a right card is not fun. But we could. Um, okay, well, okay, let's go, um, we could use, like, we could use 
a Gil's flame for something, maybe. I don't know what to do. Have they served you? I, I like the idea of... To aid you. You need oh, Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. Something. That's actually a really good point. Summon me. Ah, I bequeath. It will good, good point. Treat him with... Let's go get uh let's go get the wet blade. Yeah, there's there's actually there's now that I think about it, there's so many different options. Uh there's so many different options for different like builds we go with on this that are actually really unique. Not just some other weapon. Also, uh look away. <laughs> Somebody wrote a big paragraph <laughs> thinking that. Just all my runs were cheated because I I don't I couldn't tell if it was a meme or not. It might have been. But that like literally every run was cheated because just my game behaves weird. I wonder if this is even gonna work with a new patch. I didn't think about that. That is a yes. It's a meme. But but there were like numerous, so <laughs> I don't know. It probably was, but it was, it was like, it was hilarious, though. <laughs> Dead serious? Well, I, they said, like, a lot of my rolls are bad, and I should have gotten hit, so I'm, like, messing with the iframes and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was just, it was hilarious, dude. Good faith shield build? Uh, the Urtree rate shield. Probably. Check in PC, dude. I just, I, I feel like going fire incantations here kind of makes no sense because we could also go like Black Flame in some area too. Black Flame wouldn't be bad for Rykard. Maybe we should do that. Oh, there's so many options, dude. We got like Frenzy incantations. We got... Physical, we got fire, we got lightning, we got everything, dude. What do we do? We'll definitely have to use Black Flame a bit later. I might, uh, dude, I might have to pull up a list of incantations here. For the trusty Fextra life, <clears throat> whatever loads. It's actually not loading. What is going on? My internet dead? Okay. Uh, what do we got? <clears throat> so, a Gil's Flame. I'll give you the best nut Ancient ever. Dragon's Lightning Spear. I, I used this only in Convergence, and it was insane, but I'm assuming it's good in the base game, too. Oh, dude, we could go with, like, a Crucible build, too. Man, and we, and we have the... Um, if anyone remembers, I did a no-hit run with the Crucible Ordovice's Greatsword, which is, like, an insane weapon. Uh, Pudgy, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. But yeah, we could go with, like, a full Crucible build, dude. Um, okay, so we'll do that as one of them. We have the Beast incantations, too, but maybe, I feel like they're maybe really trash. I'll give you the best nut ever. Black Flame build. Dude, it's got everything. Uh, XOXO. Thanks for the, uh, brand new Prime sub. Dang, dude. Maybe we should go with something more basic in this first area. So yeah, maybe we go Golden Halberd. Unless unless there's another... Um, is that Inseparable Sword? Do you get it from killing D? Or do you get it some other way? Because <clears throat> if so, I'll you know, we can use that. Oh, from his... Who's his brother? <laughs> Wait, what? Who's D? I thought these. Oh, maybe. oh, it's the the guy outside of gargoyles. Ever. Oh, right. Okay, well that isn't good. Okay, well Golden Harbor is the number one option so far. As I just run around here, we'll figure figure it out. Of course, we could just go Sacred Blade, right? Sacred Blade is is decent. A uh, champion of the Pogs. Thanks for the. Uh, Brand new prime stuff, dude. Three spears in in Liurnia. 
Ertree Grapo. Mm. I don't think you can get Halo Scythe in... in so, so we're doing region lock, you guys. So we cannot leave Limgrave until we beat Godric, basically. Yeah, Sacred Blade, Sacred Blade anything would be decent. Or Golden Halberd. Which one? Which one are we saying, dude? Sacred Blade or Golden Halberd? The Wing Scythe is... Okay, we can try it. It just... I don't know if we have enough room. Let's, let's go, go, go get it, at least. Let's go get it. But yeah, we might just go Sacred Blade on something. That's kind of too easy, though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We need to go get the Faith tier anyways. Anything else? There's not... I guess there's not a lot in... No, I mean, there is. We got we got Golden Halberd. We, of course, could go Incantations as well, like the Dragon ones, but... We'll just wait on those, I think, until a bit later. So that we can actually get it set up. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to go with something simpler here, I think. Uh, we're going to do all of the fun bosses, Matt. Which is what I did last time, I think. I did Millennia, and I did Moog, and I did Plasma maybe, Sax. Maybe I'll give you the best yeah, the Coded Sword, ever. that's in the capital, right? Or am I mis mistaken? Uh, Biduck, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. I appreciate that. And a Thagger, really? That over the <clears throat> Wing Scythe? I'd rather go with the maybe, Scythe than the Dagger, maybe. I think, but we could. I'll give you the best not ever. Uh, Sharky as well, thanks for the uh, brand new sub. Yeah, so we only do the fun boss. I don't go to do, like, Fortis Axe, or I don't really care about Estelle. Although we could. It just it takes a lot of extra time, and it's not really that fun of a boss, honestly. Yeah, Cy Cypherpod is good. I, I did a whole all bosses run with it, with it, though, at some point, and so I'm kind of hesitant to use it. Let's just go get the Sacred Tier while we're here. Yeah, we, we could do the second Estelle. Yeah, that's what I said last time, but I didn't end up doing it. But yeah, we could do that this time. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're going to fight Positus X for sure. If, wait, did I get the boss mixed up? I might have said I wasn't going to fight Positus X. We're going to fight Fortis X. Or we're not going to fight Fortis X. We're going to fight Positus X is what I meant to say. But yeah, we can definitely try his laser. I, I, there's definitely one region where we're going to use all those dragon incantations. Okay, so the wing scythe is... In here? You know, now th this is actually... The, oh, I forgot these guys were in here. I guess maybe... I won't kill them because it's not with the scythe. I guess we're going with the site then. Please don't kill me. I'm actually gonna die. What are the odds I survive this now? I'm gonna get killed by this rat up here. And also for I totally forgot I can go horse in there. I got sn sniped across the map. All right, Wing Scythe. 16. Dude, it needs 16 decks, you guys. <laughs> I can't use it. Okay, well, that's uh, not happening. <laughs> Our options are more limited. I guess we could use. Gra I mean, technically, you could use Grafted Blade. But I'd, I, we we can use Golden Halberd. I'm pretty sure, right? What's the what's the Dex requirement on Golden Halberd? Inseparable sword drop by. D but people are saying it was dropped by his brother or something, and I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, thirty strength, 
Is it 14 decks? Really, dude? <laughs> oh my god, we can't even use anything, bro. Because we have 10 decks, I think. We have 10 decks. So I can't just get this plus 3 here. Wow, okay, well, I didn't, uh... Earth Steel Dagger it is, <laughs> I guess. Uh, we'll go, let's go this way. We actually, we have way less options than I thought. Here I was saying that there was actually a decent number of options here. Okay, 12 decks. Okay, we can, we can grab that, I guess. Catch Flame's really good on the, um, Hero of Zamora, too. It's fine. Just, yeah, we can't get the decks here until Liurnia anyway, so. Gotta kill Godric with something. Yeah, I guess we can try killing D, yeah. Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain he doesn't drop his... I, I don't know. Last time I killed him was a long time ago. But we're about to go kick... We're about to go kick Kenneth Hyde off a cliff here. Flame Frenzy? Yeah, we're gonna use that for some region as well. Not sure where. But yeah, we're going to kill Kenneth Height. Cause he he drops his the weapon, right? That's I'm mistaken about that as well. Or we could just use Sacred Blade. Oh yeah, he doesn't drop it. He just drops a golden seed. <laughs> I forgot. You gotta do his whole quest, don't you? Man. Or at least some of it. I'm like five seconds away from just going sacred blade. <laughs> yeah, true. I guess. Yeah, we could just clear the fort or kill the guy. Okay, fine. We'll actually get his dagger then, dude. Even though I think it's absolutely atrocious, but maybe hopefully I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Kill him and start again. Yeah, I kind of forgot he didn't just drop it. And it's isn't it a is it a somber weapon? Or, or can you can you swap the Ash of War on it or no? Oh, dude, this this scarab is like. He saw how bad I was and he, he just, he's like, yeah, I don't even have to move. Okay, so we can put Sacred Blade on, okay, okay. Yeah, one of the main problems with this run though, of course, is that when we are using holy damage, um, when we are using holy damage, if we're only fighting the main bosses, holy damage is horrible. So, that's a problem. It's unfortunate too because you know when you're fighting the rest of the game holy damage is fine it's just on the main bosses it sucks really that's what we'll do then sacred blade on that on the dagger whatever the dagger is called i forget what it's called already somehow bridge steel dagger yeah 12 decks is fine we'll just have to burn the hero some more it's no problem Did I get the Axe Talisman? I don't, I don't think we're really going to use a Charge R2 build here. Oh, welcome. Well, this will buy some upgrades too. I don't, I, I'm not really going to rush to get it super highly upgraded. Like, I don't think I'll go plus seven, but we can go, you know, plus. I guess we could go plus seven if we want to. Seems like a lot of effort for probably not a lot of extra damage. We probably are going to be going mostly spells on this run, though, I think. I think it makes the most sense. A lot of really good spells. Let's go on Blackbird. If I'm not mistaken, we just got to go kill the main knight up here. Also, don't think I have to talk to Kenneth Height first. 
flame art affinity. Is there any Ash of War even in Limgrave that has that? I don't think so. Surely I'm not going to get blasted by rats and stuff. Dude, Catch Flame is so good. I don't think there's any point in getting the Dectus Medallion. Okay, so we killed the guy. I think that's it. Pretty sure now we just go back to him. Drafted Dragon. Yeah, but it sucks. So <laughs> I, I don't really want to use it. And I've, al I've, I've also... I used that a few times in Bingo, and I, you know... You only need to use that weapon for a few times to realize that it's not great. Maybe there's some very niche uses where it's good. Where the Ash of War can be useful, but for a fist weapon, it's just horrible. Uh, it's not all bosses, it's just we're doing just normal region lock. Alright, Kenneth Hyde is spared on this run, although maybe I'll kill him after, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see how I feel about it. Fine where I doubt the deal. Go on. There we go. Erd Steel Dagger. And it does have faith. So so this just the faith scaling increases its physical damage, right? I'm gonna kill him. Did I kill him with his own dagger? Goodness gracious. Calm yourself this instant. Must. Yeah. Thanks for the dagger, idiot. <laughs> we actually do need golden seeds on this run, so. Um, if I could fast travel out of here. That is what he gets, dude. I was going to kill him with his own dagger, but I can't, can't even wield it yet, so. Okay. Let's go back here. <laughs> That's actually good. That's a good joke, Shark. I didn't think about that. Kenneth dying from height. Okay. Yeah, like I said, Catch Flame just absolutely melts the heroes. Oh, I don't have a... St oh, I do have a Stone Sword. This should be pretty easy. Uh, the Ash of War was Quick Step, I think, right? Yeah, pretty pretty standard. Did, so there, there was a quick step nerf, but I believe it was only for PvP. Is that right? It got nerfed to like a less iframes than a base roll, I believe. Yeah, look at this damage, dude. It's blasting him. They're, I think these guys are really weak to fire. Ow. How did that happen? <laughs> dude. Not sure how that happened. Here we go. Okay, so the, with the Scar Seal, we can wield the dagger. I have my expectations for this dagger are so low that I I don't even know, dude. It's insanely low. <laughs> yeah, the, the cheat rolls, dude. I forgot to best not add the iframes in. Blasted machine of fight. Uh Zero, thanks for the four month resub. Welcome back. Um I guess for this section we don't really need a lot of blue, but Sacred Blade. And, and I guess we'll go with the Sacred Infusion. I feel like we have to. And let's also... Let's also upgrade it a bit. I don't think... Did I buy the... I don't think I bought the stuff from this guy. How many do we have? We've got eight. 
And I, I did I pick up the one on the anvil? I don't think so. so we'll, we'll just go. We'll just go plus three, dude. I, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna bother with plus seven. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I'll give you the you best. Not takes too ever. long. Okay. We're going real basic here, dude. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Jackpot, I'll thanks for the, the eight month resub. Ever. And the Char as well, thanks for the five month resub. Welcome back. No sense in arguing is right. Okay. Oh, why am I talking to you? A plus three sacred. I, you guys, this is gonna deal zero damage to the Margaret and Godric man. Actually, he's gonna deal no damage to them. But okay, we'll go faith and we'll go. I guess spiked. Faith spiked and of course, twenty five faith. That's not bad. We're gonna have access to a lot of good buffs on this at least. Anybody else I should kill right now? I don't think so. But we are going to have to come back. I mean, we could kill the Crucible Knight. Because I, I do want to do a Crucible Knight setup. Is there anything else worth killing? Let's go. You know what? Let's go try it out. Uh, why did I just flash out here? We're going to go try it out in the Crucible Knight. That's what we're going to do. I mean, it's not going to be great, but it's at least a dagger that has a little bit higher crit damage. So let's try it. And I we're gonna have to kill this guy anyways. And what I do when I come back to a region, I use the same build that I used in when I initially did that region or whatever. And so hello? I should have just went from the shack if I was gonna be this stupid. <laughs> yeah, we could do Leonine as well, but there's no need so far. Yeah, we could try Bernal's weapon. I've never tried it before, but I, I I, don't know how many different builds we're going to be able to use because there's already a lot of spell builds I would like to try. Okay, here we go. Oh. How's this damage? <laughs> I mean, maybe it doesn't look that bad, but considering... Oh, considering they just buffed repose damage in PvE... It is not ideal. Oh, and got that two hit R2. Yeah, that's not fantastic, but it'll do the trick. I was gonna say, I don't think it's the worst I've ever seen, but it might be. Oh man, I messed up greatly. I was gonna Sacred Blade him in midair. I didn't you started your first playthrough of this game and like this is the setup you, you use. You went to use an it's like oh cool dagger that's faith scaling. That seems cool. Oh I know stamina. Got a rebuff. All right, last one. Man, it's hanging on for dear life. I will say the dagger does look cool. Okay, aspects of Crucible Tail. There we go. A few more, a few more runes, I guess, too. But yeah, we are gonna, we're definitely gonna go with a Crucible Knight build at some point. Probably, I guess, we're probably gonna do that. Um, we we can't get the Ordovus Greatsword until a bit later, until we reach Altus. So, 
So yeah, I guess at some point after Altus, we'll go with that. I, I don't know when though. Maybe maybe for Farmazula we can do that. There's just two bosses in there. Or for Mountaintops, I guess, but Mountaintops only has like one boss, right? I guess two, since we're gonna fight uh, Niall, so we could do it there. Okay, here we go. How much damage will this deal? Don't use Blood Boil. It's because it's it just takes too long to get set up. Carry the arm, not the weapon. It depends what you're fighting. You think I can? I don't think he's in range, but I'm gonna try this. Got the buff off. I guess we can parry him, dude. With some like crit build. Come on, be a lot of damage. It's not, it's not terrible, I guess. I guess I probably could have done some hits first there. Hey, Sacred Blade again. Oh, I love that fast roll, man. Oh, boy. Bye. Okay. I, you know, I, I actually, I don't have a good baseline to compare this against. I'll give you the best not ever. Because I don't think I've ever tried an actual crit build in this game before for PvE, so. I, I, yeah, I, I I imagine with a good a good setup for a crit build on him, it would be a lot better than that, but it still wasn't terrible. Uh, Fane Def, thanks for the uh, brand new Prime sub. Thanks, dude. Let's go on Ozzy as well. Okay. Ah, oh, do we get a plus seven? I don't I don't think there's a point, man. What do you guys think? Do I go plus seven here? I could, but it's just it's we gotta go run all the way around and get the three and get all the extra stuff. Damage is too low? You think so? What does too low mean? Yeah, we actually, um, we almost have enough stats to use a Cypher Pot already, dude. I actually, I think I forgot the Physic on that fight, but it wouldn't have changed that much. Yeah, we, we can, we can use Cypher Pot already, but obviously we're going to finish off this region with this weapon. I, I just don't, I'm trying to think, we already killed a Crucible Knight. Is there any other boss I have to even kill here? I don't think so. Is it, if, if there were bosses I had to other boss I had to kill here, I guess maybe we have to, we have to kill a Gil, but plus three should be fine. So Yep, we'll just uh We'll just go. I'm gonna want the great rune at some point. A guild with a dagger. Well, we have Sacred Blade, right? So we can just snipe him in the head. Shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, I, I think the plus three dagger is fine for anything here. I'm not sure what I would have done in the previous stat only runs. I probably got a plus seven for this fight. I mean, we could, dude. We definitely could. Should we just do it? much time? I guess we could just fucking do it. Let's just do it. So, we need a bunch of twos and two threes, I guess. Why not? I don't really do this too often, so... I, I genuinely, though, I think it's, it's not really gonna make 
much of a difference on the Godric fight. But who knows? We might fight some other boss here. Yeah, if we fight a Giel, I guess. There's a two. Oh, the angle on that. Blasted. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big Sacred Blade fan, dude. Actually, this is probably gonna one shot if it's a sneak attack. Yeah, big fan of Sacred Blade. Okay, so here's a three over here. See if I can. Nice. Dude, birds are too easy, man. They gotta make them harder. Uh, Josh, how's it going, dude? Alright, there's the three. I really like the way this dagger looks, though, man. Looks pretty sweet. Never actually used this weapon before. I think the only time I've actually ever gotten this weapon is when the bingo uh, playoffs were happening. I was thinking a good middle square idea, because at the time we were doing, like... Or, or for the playoffs, we are doing a, a new middle square that nobody's ever seen before. And I was thinking one of the middle squares could be something to do with Kenneth Height, like clear the fort or something like that. And so I was like, oh, I should probably figure out how to do this. <laughs> Dang, dagger R1 spam. That's gone better. And it's got a cool R2 as well. Oh my god, he's out-poisoning my... How does that make any sense, dude? We don't... Why am I going this way? Let me just think. I guess we're already here, so we might as well. There's actually not maybe, much of value maybe. in here. I'll give you the best not ever. Any manscapers. Not much of value. Uh, Josh, thanks for the 28 month resub, dude. Also, I, I've definitely noticed. So they changed the. Um, yeah, we're about to get trapped in here. They changed the backstab angles in this game. So they're more forgiving. And I've definitely noticed it, dude. I, at least I think. Oh. Unless I was just a placebo or something. This definitely isn't a, a terrible holy crit weapon. Except, I mean, you could do a lot better, but... Yeah, no, it, it feels a lot more like DS3 backstabs now, for sure. I guess I might as well get this while I'm here. But yeah, they last patch, dude, might have been... I, I, don't, I don't know if I could say it's my favorite patch, but... might be dude because I, I love backstabs in these games so much especially for pvp and now if they're gonna be more reasonable it's gonna be huge that i framed yeah we are gonna do some pvp this week you guys we're gonna do some pvp because i you know i wasn't interested in pvp beforehand majorly because of uh passive poison stuff but now that they've gotten rid of that You know, the, the armor set that these guys drop gives you an extra faith point, so. You can just pick it up somewhere, but it wouldn't hurt to just grab it here. Uh, passive poise is, is um... So in this game, you have a poise stat, right? Same with all the other Souls games. It is... I mean, it's on the bottom right, the 16. I have 16 poise right now. What they did in this game, and it's similar to what they did in DS1, is make it so that Poise just like poised is just poise, right? So if you get hit, you won't get stunned if you have enough poise to, you know, out poise the attack that comes. If if the if the attack that comes in doesn't deal enough stagger damage to you, you will not get stunned. So that's what that's what poise is. And passive poise basically means that you don't have to do anything for that poise to have an effect, right? So you could just stand and tank a hit and you won't get stunned if you have enough poise. And I I think for, for PvE it's it's fun to have. 
but for PvP, it really messes up the balancing because so much of it is based around just like hit stuns and stuff to make certain weapons viable. And so, so they've changed it. Basically, they made all the weapons deal more poise damage, meaning that passive poise almost doesn't exist anymore for most weapons. And what that means is, even if you have full bull goats with the bull goat talisman, all that stuff, um, most attacks will still give you hit stun. And I think it's just, it makes PvP a lot more fun, so. So yeah, they went with a more DS3 style hyper armor thing at this point. Which means you have poise, but the, basically, it's like a hybrid of DS3 and, and passive poise. Because when you have poise now, um, how far forward can I go here? Dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that could not have gone worse. Nice. Uh, but yeah, so, so you know, there's still some passive poise for certain attacks, like dagger attacks, for example. For example, uh, like, won't break on high poise and stuff. Man, this is what I get earlier for saying birds are too easy. Now I just can't even hit this guy. So, so yeah, it still kind of exists, but now there's a it, it, it's more use of hyper armor. So they increased hyper armor on bigger weapons, meaning that there's like some calculation done when you're swinging a weapon that determines if you're going to get stunned out of the swing or not. And I, I just think it's it's a lot better. And and most people who that was interesting. Most people who have done PvP a lot in these games definitely prefer that sort of system. Okay, so we got this one Go back here. So yeah, I, I think it's a really good change and I'm, uh, like I said, I'm definitely gonna try out some more PVP because of it. Cause yeah, before I was pretty set on just not really ever doing PVP. I, I've done it a few times in this game. Like I've done it a tiny bit, but not seriously. Like I did in DS3, I did a lot of PVP in DS3. Um, okay, what else do we need? Let's go back. I'm trying to remember all the locations for these here. Uh, yeah, we could get the jump attack talisman. I was actually just thinking, does, does the jump attack talisman, I assume it doesn't, but there's certain incantations you can jump with, right? Like catch flame. That wouldn't increase that damage, would it? Same with, I guess, the dragon incantations, too. Oh, it doesn't? Okay, that's unfortunate. We should have gone with darkness on this build, like a, an assassin, a holy assassin build. Get that. There's a lot of twos up here, and then the other threes up here as well. Armor's only good for damage negation. I guess basically, yeah. I mean, and fashion, right? That That's probably the big thing. That's how it kind of was in DS3. Armor was all, just all about fashion. There was some, you know, damage negation was a thing, but it was like, it was all about the fashion. And now it's kind of more like that in this game again, in PvP. But yeah, as like one of the really cool things about this game though is the changes that they've made that are PvP only. And so, as my understanding is that passive poison in PVE is the is the same. It's it's only in PVP where it's different now. That's my understanding. Um, let's go get Grace up here. Yeah, follow. Up, yeah, true. It's it's not. That's what I'm saying. It, it's it's um it's more of like a hybrid now. Because yeah, if you're in full bull, bull goats with poise talisman and stuff, you know you're. There's many attacks you're still not going to get poise broken from. But yeah, it's, it's honestly just way better now for sure. So it, it's crazy that they, they went with such a huge change. I mean, a year and a half after the game came out. I think overall, though, it's, it's a really good change. And I did, I did try it a little bit uh, this weekend. 
but not not extensively or anything. I did do a bit of PvP. Just to actually like see it for myself, you know? Um Where am I going here? We're going up. Two? Oh, three twos there. And then the three we get is back here. Yeah, there's probably not a lot of people who um, who were here for when I did a bunch of DS3 invasions, but those those are so much fun, dude. I really like invading. I still, I honestly don't think the invasions in this game will be as good as DS3 still. Um, just because there's still other issues. I think the balancing is off, and also there's so many bad spots to invade. I think if you're like open world invasions, don't really get me interested. But. It's still going to be way better, I think. Uh, let's go back here. Yeah, true. Like, <sighs> There's a lot of things that I would change about PvP still. Player limit is definitely a big one. Open world invasions are incredible. I, I disagree. Maybe, maybe I definitely disagree. I'll give you the best I think not a big ever. part of invasions is being able Can to, you, you know... Use the level and have enemies help you out, which it's just like it's just not there, right? Uh, Big T, thanks maybe, for the two month maybe. resub, and Pabler, thanks for the, the brand new prime sub as well. Ever. So, doing invasions in a place like Stormvale is just like insanely cool, right? One of the best levels they've ever made, but just open world, like it's too big, there's too far to run, there's all these like issues with it too, like. Not to mention the um, HP respawning scarabs and stuff. Like, that's super broken for... If you're fighting somebody who just wants to survive in the open world... Oops. They're just, like, running around grabbing scarabs and stuff. That's not really fun. Please don't kill me. Okay, these firebirds are a little bit scarier. I think we're almost... I got the one in the hallway, right? Still missing some. This guy's immaculate use of the terrain. Just kidding. There's, there's a couple up here. Who's got flashed back in DS3? Not the same. Not even close to the same. There's one, two. Okay, let me remember this. Where are all the other twos? Because <laughs> I can't remember. Maybe this is good that I'm doing this because I really don't remember. I, I usually don't use the statue for this. We're short three twos, man. Where could those be? Is this a two? Oh, oh yeah, drop down here. And there's three here, I believe. There's two. Okay, so I'm missing one more. <laughs> Where's that last one? Um, there's one more. You can get all the twos here. I know you can. I got the one in that hallway. I got... got the one... But we're near the bird. <laughs> Does anybody know which one I missed? Yeah, I got the one by the seed, I think. Hmm. Well, this is annoying. 
Because I, I for, clearly forgot one. I just, I don't even know which one it is, though. This is why it's good that I've been doing this, because... It's been a while. Like, maybe it's not even in Stormvale, the one I normally get. They patched it out. Man, what the hell? I got the one up the climbing up the wall here, I think. We're missing a smithing stone too. No, there's I, I had a route for this, you guys. I had a route for this on region lock runs, but I can't remember which one I missed. I don't think there's a merchant that sells a two here. All right, well, yeah, well, there actually is, I guess. That's a good call. I guess I could just do that, but I still need to figure out which one I missed because normally... Normally, I just pick them all up. Yeah, this guy has uh, three twos, I think. No, it's not the statue, but yeah, the statue's got some stuff in it too. Like, there's plenty of extras, but I had a good route when I was doing region lock all boss no hit or when I was routing it of the upgrade path. In the Feli room, there's a bunch of ones. Rampart Tower. Yeah, next to the barrel, I got that one. I'm, unless I forgot it. I I, I might have just forgotten to pick one up, honestly. Like, I probably just, maybe, I probably just forgot maybe, to pick one of them up. Give you the best nut ever. Uh, Emulus Rex, thanks for the four-month primary sub. All right, plus seven. Surely this is worth it, you guys. Oh, I forgot. Or wait, are you just saying that? You're in no mass loud. You're... I probably just forgot one of them. All right, surely that was all worth it. Time for Godric. Will there be anything good about this weapon on Godric? Hopefully. Maybe I can headshot him, though, with stuff. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly not the best I've ever seen. Maybe we're going to get a big crit on him, though. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I would have even noticed the difference between plus seven and, and plus three. Maybe. Not great. Not honestly, not terrible though. It just for plus seven, it's pretty weak. Oh, especially without that buff. Here we go. But that's kind of what we expected. <laughs> holy damage, holy resistant boss. Still not that bad though, honestly. Is it is? Earthsteel Dagger remotely worth using. I think it's interesting with the innate faith scaling. So I think there could... I haven't looked at any numbers for stuff, but... Oh, did I forget the flask again? Yeah, I guess I did. I, it probably wouldn't have made too much of a difference, but let's see, actually. Okay, with the flask, with the buff, 305 AR. Um, Let's see without the faith. Without the extra 10 faith points. But it'd be funny if this was actually a lot and I just totally missed out on it. 
literally 15 AR. But yeah, as, as I was saying though, I think if you're on a high faith build and you're looking for something to crit stuff with, then this could potentially be one of the better options, I think. Maybe. But yeah, I don't know the numbers. Ice AR dagger for, with 80 faith. Okay, well then there you go. It sounds like it's probably true. And yeah, being smithing stones also makes it better too, of course. That's concealed. I'll, I'll just come back. Because I, I don't even have a stone sword right now. And I'll, I can buy one later, but... Unless I want to get prepared for later, I, I could buy it. Thanks, Scholar, for the first time. Um, I think the... What's it called? Parian Knight Sword is pretty fun. Yeah, I'd be curious to see a repost with this thing on high faith against like a death bird or something. Probably. Oh man, we should try that actually. We can try it on uh, on this guy. Just to see. I mean, you'd imagine that would be where this thing's the best. We can try it. It's just getting a stun. You'd probably want to use something else to get a stun first. Uh, I can get Golden Vow, yeah. I'll probably use the incantation though once we get later. I'm not I'm not in any rush to make our damage super high. It's more fun when our damage isn't high, I would say. Doing your first DS3 because broadsword. Um no, I mean broadsword's one of the better straight swords, I would say. In terms of damage. In fact, it's probably it might even just be the highest damage, or it's close. Depending on the setup. It just, most straight swords in DS3 aren't really that special in any way. They just can swing. <laughs> about it. Yeah, you can't really go wrong, I, I don't think. Patch 110 made a, di a huge difference. Well, I think it's, you know, repose are stronger. That's probably the biggest thing. And also the backstab angles are better. So it hasn't made a huge difference, but I've definitely noticed it in a good way. I think it's, it's better. And you know what? Hopefully on this run, we can test the fire giant repose because I'm very curious to see... If it's actually decent. Uh, let's get the great rune going. I don't have a rune arc. Loth Lothric Knight Sword is better moveset? It, it, it does, yeah. Probably, I guess. If you're going to use the R2s. But DS3 is in a game about R2s, really. Okay, let's see this repost here. Here we go. Nice shot. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to get a repose because the boss is going to die too fast. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, man. Yeah, I'm not even going to be close to getting repose here. Oh, he died somehow. Did I did I do that? I was just trying to kill the the rams here. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't really tell me much. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty strong, I guess. Let's go back to this guy. I'll buy the stone sword key and we'll go uh, go pick up the flame book. Where? So wh what's the Lyurnia build, you guys? What are you guys saying? Behind you to this. I like go get this. Uh, we'll go from here. Dragon Incants for... You think so? I think Dragon Incants would be better off later because then we're going to have them more set up and we have more access to them. So... Yeah, we could use Black Flame there for sure. We're missing it on like some of the spells, I guess. Man, I take so much damage. Alright, let's not die to some rats, maybe. 
maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Dude, it has Thanks negative for... range, this thing. It's crazy. I can't even hit a rat. A huge rat. All in. Thanks for the 43 month resub, dude. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. Well, we can do the Crucible, too. That's a good point. I kind of forgot about that. Usually, usually I don't get the build set up like this, but I guess we are going to. Let's hear a seal, which we can already use. Let's get a prayer book. Yeah, we can go kill the Crucible. Which one you get? You get the charge from this one, right? Or is that... I, I don't remember, honestly. Storm Assault. Okay, we should have some better damage here. This guy also has less health than the actual boss version. Let's see? Mm, just the holy damage, dude. Not terrible, though. Actually dismantled, dude. Aspect of the Crucible Horns. So, I don't think there's anything else worth getting here. So, we should be good on Limgrave, I think. I, I could have gotten the Assassin's Talisman. That would have been pretty good with this build, probably. I would say we're good for now. All right, into Liurnia. Cheat engine, <laughs> yeah, the cheat engine activation, dude. But no, the way, fall like, certain areas, such as right back there, where you have, like, a scripted falling platform or something. Um, It's the same in the Divine Tower in Kaled, right? There's, basically, the way they do it, it's just, they make it so that the whole zone, just, there's no fall damage there. Right? Instead of making it some scripted event where you, you know, don't take fall damage that one instance where you drop, it just, the whole time, there's no fall damage there, so... You can just drop and as long as you don't hit like the fall timer or if you fall for too long you die then you don't take damage staff of the guilty and the bleed sorcery count um literally anything counts if it's like a faith based thing so i guess we could it just i don't know why i'd want to use that stuff pretty not great i did do a run with the blood sorceries a while ago was not impressed I'm not going to... Realistically, I'm not going to use the Grafted Dragon, right? Realistically, I'm not going to use that. If, if I am, I can just go duplicate it. Okay. What is the build here? I don't know. Black Flame, I just... I, I, I think Black Flame would be better later. But we could use Black Flame here. I wouldn't use I, I wouldn't mind using Black Flame and Kaled because then I can kill Grail no problem. You know. We can also go get that lightning prayer book. Uh did I close? You can you can start we can start using some lightning incantations here too, right? Yeah, the is it the Dragon Cult prayer book that's here? Is there another one? But yeah, Dragon Cult Prayer Book gives you Lightning Spear, Hone Bolt, and Electrify Armament. Again, no, I, I feel like I should wait until I'm more properly set up. Okay, let me see the, the Black Flame. There's only there's only uh two actual offensive Black Flame spells, right? I guess there's the Black Flame or Black Blade. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. We could we could use the wing scythe. No, we can't. Yes, we can. We have the dex tier now. 
I guess I, I've never used this thing before, so we could we could use the wing side, dude. Maybe maybe. We can use it. Best not ever. All right, I guess we'll go with this for for Leonia then. Maybe, sort of night maybe, flame. I maybe I could use, but ever. it's a lot of faith I need for that, or a lot of intelligence. Uh, Godric the Swagman, thanks for the brand new sub, and Duck Sensei, thanks for maybe, the maybe five month primary sub. Thanks so much ever. to you guys, and uh, Iza as well. Thanks for the three month resub. I've never tried this weapon, so I'm I'm kind of curious. I know this is the one in PvP. It's interesting because it prevents the Estus right or the blasts. Maybe maybe. On the Ash of War. Not ever. Maybe we should save it for Gideon, though. But <laughs> well, by that point, we're just going to be blasting him with, like, madness or something, so. That is another thing we could actually use. We could use madness here, you guys. Maybe. Oh, maybe. okay. I'll give you the best not We could ever. go with madness. Uh, Yuha, thanks for the three-month Prime sub, and the Scuffed Cowboy, thanks for the brand-new Prime sub. We could go the Madness incantations here. Let me just see. So, we could get Frenzied Flame now. We could get Frenzied Burst. What else is there? Howl. We can't use Inescapable Frenzy, though. But I don't know where we would use that anyways. I think, dude, I think, uh, Frenzy, we, we can't use Unendurable Frenzy either. And I think that's it. Hmm. Should we go Frenzy here? It makes sense. We could just go back here and pick up. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best not ever. Go back here, pick up that, and then go like Frenzy Burst and just use both of those. Uh, D Steed. Thanks for the uh, brand new prime sub as well. I get. Let's go pick it up. And I, I just, I. The only reason I'm hesitant is because we're just not getting to use all of the frenzy stuff yet. Is this too late? That's the only reason why I'm hesitant about it. Hmm. This is actually so this is the first stat that we've done with um for the first actual offensive stat that we've used so far. I guess we've only done two of these runs at this point, but Yeah, we did we did arcane, which I guess is sort of damaging. Uh, and then we did endurance, which obviously isn't. So it's it's, a, it's quite a bit different. We I feel like we just have so many options here, dude. That I don't I don't even know where to start. Yeah, flame of frenzy. I don't even know where to start. And, th and there's like certain builds too that just we can't get all the spells needed early enough. I should have been mind only. We'll definitely do mind only eventually. It's kind of a, it's a good problem to have, I guess though, but just, I, I don't know what to do. Okay. I guess, I guess we can go frenzy, dude. We can go frenzy. It, it's going to be tough, though. It's, it's not a good setup here because Red Wolf is going to be really annoying with Frenzy. Okay, so Flame of Frenzy, the only thing we have so far. I don't think there's a better seal that's worth grabbing at this point. Unless... I guess we could go... God Slayer seal. It's because it's going to be easier to upgrade it. Just get it to plus four. Man, Flame of Frenzy. I don't think I've used it since my first playthrough, probably. 
Like, I actually tried to use it. Yeah, we could go Dragon Seal, I guess. Although, I kind of want to... That, that one boosts the Dragon Incantations, right? I'd rather use that one... later. Hey, we're going to the Frenzy Village, though. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough on, uh... Maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe we should just go Wing Scythe here, you guys. Wing Scythe might be better for this area. Wing Scythe? Or Frenzy? Okay, okay, we'll do we'll do Wing Scythe then. That's final. That's it. We're doing Wing Scythe. I do need to go get Godric's activated though. We gotta hit Iggy then. Okay. We're going we're going uh we're going Wing Scythe here. Because I think I think later on is when we're gonna go more spell based stuff. Once we get access to more, so when sponsor, we'll probably do it pretty soon. We'll probably take like some breaks from this run and do sponsor stuff so be prepared for that you guys um i guess i'll just take this teleporter i wouldn't mind getting the uh golden seed too <laughs> grooming live on stream no, they send they, they they want me to un unbox their stuff. That that's what we'll do. But yeah, I've used like the I you know what I'm gonna save it for the sponsor segment. <laughs> we need to fill the time, so I'm saving it for the sponsor segment. Frenzy fault for Altus. Um, it, well, so the other, let me see, so uh. Unendurable frenzies from the yellow annex ruins, which is, uh, you know, that's snowfield, dude. So if we actually want to use all of the, all of them, and there's not many, they're gonna be super late game, right? Let's go, Geo. I'm sure we could definitely do it with Flame of Frenzy and uh, Frenzy Burst, but I would like to try to use all of them at least. Well, I presume... Let's get this thing to plus four. Oh, I am an old the Scythe definitely looks I interesting. I probably should. I don't know why I went that way, dude. I should have just went this way and collected the runes. <laughs> John Deere sponsorship, dude. Yeah, imagine a imagine a John Deere sponsored segment. Take live stream while cutting the grass. <laughs> That'd be uh interesting. Here on my lawnmower. Playing on the Steam Deck or something. Has there, I'm sure there's been at least a few lawnmower streams that people have done, just like cutting grass, streaming. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, dude. You know what? Maybe if 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 John Deere contacts me, dude, I'll take it. Yeah, true. Manscaped does have a, a product called the lawnmower. That's what they sent me last time. Uh, I tried it a bit, Erbeer, but yeah, I'm going to do some this week for sure. I mean, maybe even tomorrow after bingo could make sense, but I haven't, we haven't done God Run 3 attempts in a bit, so I should probably do that as well. B 
Yeah, we're gonna do a bit some bingo practice tomorrow with Bree, I think. I think that's the plan. Man, this year, it's already almost August, dude. It's crazy. It was like last week, it was January somehow. Yeah, I'm just going to go pick up the rune arc that's over here because it's cheaper. Read Sh well, you can repeat it, Shogun, dude. <laughs> I didn't see what it was. Blame a frenzy in the chat, dude. Uh, we're probably gonna want the bell bearing at some point, so I'll just grab this. No, actually, I, I I was busy this weekend, so I didn't watch any of the arm wrestling, but I saw the results of some of them. Can't say I'm too surprised about. Um, Hermes winning though, but especially because it seemed like Jerry was sick, right, or or something. There's something wrong with him. Gold Mask versus Godfrey. Does Gold Mask does Gold Mask attack if you attack them? Oh, Morzov got owned by I didn't actually see that one. By who? I don't remember who the match was against. But was he was also sick though, wasn't he? Or there's something wrong with him too. So I I don't know. I didn't watch it, like I said, so. <laughs> What's up, Firesmith? But yeah, not sure how telling all those matches were. What's up, uh, Cookie Finger Reese? <laughs> How's it going, dude? Just puffs away if you hit him, really? I guess that's not surprising. Man, I'm... We definitely could go madness here, you guys. Because I, I kind of forgot Howell is up there, too. So we could go how Like, at least there's three of them, but we'll save it for later. We're going... I, I already upgraded the Wing Scythe. We're going Wing Scythe, dude. Right, let's also use this. There we go. Now, can I take this off? What do I need from it? The The Dex? I guess, just simply don't get hit, right? We can, go, we can go get the dex tier, maybe. Not sure which way is faster. We'll go from here. Alright, the setup is almost complete, and then we can go kill Red Wolf. I'm pretty curious about the scythe. Honestly, the Halo scythe... I didn't know hit run with it. it. It's very interesting. I think Halo Scythe is a really good weapon apart from the main bosses. This weapon might be the same. Remember, the early game with the Halo Scythe when I did no hit with it was actually crazy, dude. Because you would get so much DPS with the Ash of War. Like the holy things hitting, the weapon hitting, plus the bleed buildup. This one, though, I don't know. Never used it. I've only seen it used once when I was fighting some guy in PvP. A while ago. Why did I... Hopefully, I didn't actually make it through there. I don't know what I'm even thinking right now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get Order of the Great Sword. We're gonna do a Crucible Knight build on one of the regions. I don't know when, though. Yeah, I'm throwing for content, dude. Clearly. Yeah, I've already gotten a few of the Crucible incantations. I think there's only... Is there one or two more? There's the, there's the breath one. And that might be it, so... Yeah, we'll go with that. I've already used Solaria's Tree a lot, so I'd rather use the Greatsword, even though I've no hit the game with both of them, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, the Belfries, that's right. For some reason, I was thinking you got it from... Like, Nocron or whatever, but... Or Noxtella. But I guess you don't. Surely I can fast travel out in time. 
place 10 waypoints on the map. Okay. I think we're all set up here. I'm just trying to think, is there any other boss that we should kill? Oh, of course. We should get the uh, the holy, holy tier. How's it going, Ice? Welcome back. Gotta kill right card. Oh, you get it from... Uh, oh, you get it from... Tannis Knight? Really? Dude, I don't think I've ever even fought that guy. When does he spawn? Like, so you kill Rikard and then Tannis shows up and starts, like, eating him or something, right? I, I don't remember what happens. Uh, that would sound really weird if that's not actually what happens. But then... And then what? Like, you just come back? Okay, you attack Tannis. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess we'll do that at some point. I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't fight Rikard on the Endurance Only run, but... Or, you know what? I'm pretty sure I did. I just used the Serpent Hunter. Yeah, that, that is what I did. I, I That's what I'll, I'll do on this one, too, maybe. Unless we actually have a good build, which we might, right? Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike could be good. We're, well, we're going to have more options than Endurance Only had, so... I wouldn't mind turning off the tower, but maybe, maybe. I don't want to get blasted. I'll, give you the best nut ever. I'll just run it, dude. I went at the worst possible time. I have a big madness bar, though. Maybe, maybe. I'll Gigantic give you the best madness nut bar. Ever. If Mickey Mouse, Donald, and Goofy can all talk, then Goofy is quite literally a dog. What the hell have they done to Pluto? Uh, Sora, thanks for the three-month resub. And ICDs, thanks for the five-month resub as well. That's a good point. Eighth weapon again, round table. I, I don't think so because I did an all-bosses run with it pretty recently. Or maybe not super recently, but... I did an all-bosses run with it relatively recently, so... I don't think I will. Well, uh, I haven't used the uh, the coated sword though, so I guess I'd rather use that. Okay, what is this actual war? Oh, dude, it even puts the effect on this guy, but I assume that's not doing anything to him. Oh boy. Yeah, it's definitely a little slow. That's for sure. Man, it's slow. My game's really lagging today for some reason. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, the effect is um, a flask prevention. But it just... Oh my god, that's so slow, dude. <laughs> the cheats, yeah, dude. Oh, that's a big repost, though. This is actually as slow as, like, a fucking colossal R2. I think I have to restart my game, you guys. My... Game's lagging so much. Bye. Again, these guys are resistant to holy, so. Not super surprised. I should restart my game. Dark Souls 1's the worst in the series. That's a fair point. <laughs> yeah, based first time chat, dude. <laughs> okay, let's go to the academy. I think I'm going to restart my game, you guys, because I, I actually have no idea what's happening. Really laggy. Actual restart my game. You know what, though? This is a good time, actually, to do the sponsor segment, you guys. So let's do it, dude. Let's do it. Actually, I, I I wasn't planning this, but let's pause the timer. So, we're we're manscaping, you guys. Let me pull up the site. So, we are we are sponsored by Manscaped today, and also for the next while because they, like I said, dude, they they like what I do apparently. Um, Manscaped. I can spell 
Dude, I can't spell. <laughs> Manscaped. Man, they're not going to like that. But anyways, yeah, you got 20% off, you guys, with this link. You get a free gift also, which I don't, I might know what it is, but I don't know for sure. Uh, but yeah, and free shipping. So it's kind of an insane deal. Yeah, all you got to do is you click the link. It'll automatically apply the deal so you can just buy whatever the hell you want. And so, yeah, this is this is the second time we've been sponsored by them. They sponsored us, I think it was the last month or maybe the end of the month before that. And I love getting free stuff, especially from a decent sponsor, dude. And especially when it's something I'm actually going to use because I have been using what they sent me last time. So they sent me the, I, so they sent me the lawnmower, but I think it was a package that they sent me. It was the perfect package 4.0 is what they sent me last time, but we got something new this time, you guys. We got something new. So yeah, perfect package last time. Uh, we opened it on stream. And I've, I've been using it. At least the, the actual lawnmower 4.0. I, I, I have tried the other stuff, but I just, I don't, I don't know. I, I think the stuff that they sent me this time, I'm, I'm more likely to use a lot. But yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all good stuff. It's just, you know, preference stuff. But I don't know if I'm wearing the boxes right now. I might be, but I'm not going to show you guys that, of course. I do got the shirt on, though. They did send me a shirt. I don't think you get a shirt. But yeah, this is what they sent me last time. Really good stuff. It's all high quality. And, and like, it is, um, it's decently expensive, but you get what you pay for. <laughs> Why not? You get what you pay for, and you also get a pretty sweet deal. With the code, the code's Gino20 on the, on the site. Um, yeah, we're going to do the same thing as last time. We did three kind of segments last time, and we had like a Q&A thing. <laughs> it was interesting. But let me go get, um, let me go get the package they sent me this time. And we're going to check it out, dude. I love getting free stuff, man. I love getting free stuff, especially when it's good stuff. But one second, let me go grab it. Okay. Oh, you know what I did last time too? I did big cam last time. Do I don't think I have a scene for that. Do I have a scene for that? Mm. I think I just actually made my cam bigger. Okay, let me <laughs> let me do that. I guess too. So you guys can get a better view of this. I'm literally just going to grow the cam. There we go. So that, okay, I guess I got to make sure to not show my address, but they sent me, oh man, I'm going to not spill my water also. Yeah, the underwear cam is not coming out, you guys. They sent me, and I, you know, paid no attention to the ripped box because I, I got a little carried away. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit, you guys. Check this out. And it's funny too, because I, um... I, when I was like looking at their stuff last time uh, for the sponsor stream, I was like, I was, I, I was convinced to buy this. I was going to buy this exact package, which, so let me pull up the site here. Um, it is Beard Hedger Pro Kit, I think, right? Yeah, I was like, I was, I was like, I was telling people, I'm like, I'm going to buy this because this is, this is what I'm looking for. Definitely the uh, perfect package was nice, but, the Beard Hedger is more what I'm in the market for. And I was going to buy it, but then they're like, oh, yeah, we'll sponsor you again and we'll send this to you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's fucking perfect, dude. So, yeah, they sent it to me. Um, let me show what it comes with. We got a lot of stuff and I'm going to I'm totally going to spill my water, you guys. But, yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I haven't tried it out yet because I'm supposed to unbox it on stream, even though I like cheated and opened it up early and stuff. But. So in this nice kit, I should show you guys what I got last time too. Maybe I'll show that. Um, I'll show that later. But because I have to go get it, and I I didn't actually prepare for that. But so you got this nice case for the. Uh, this is for the beard hedger, you guys. So open it up. 
This is what's inside. This is what you're gonna get. So this thing, this is more like advanced than the uh I guess maybe it's more specific for like so the the lawnmower is for like everywhere. But this is, you know, obviously specifically for beard, but it's got a ton of different settings on it. So there's like a dial you, you turn here. And I'm so bad at this. There's, there's a dial you turn and it's got how many different, it has like 20 different lengths that you can get. Yeah, 20 different lengths. And so use this, they call it a zoom wheel. And so you can adjust the length that you want. So that's, I mean, pretty sweet. And yeah, it's the same as the other one, dude. This thing definitely seems, it seems like very decent, dude. So I, I'm excited to try this. I don't know if I'm going to try it today. Because I don't, I mean, maybe I should, dude. I don't know. Anyways, I'm very excited about this. Like I said, I was literally going to buy this. But they just send it. Of course, it comes with the charging stuff as well, which, I mean, you guys don't have to see that. But yeah, it comes with charger. Um, it's, it's all waterproof and stuff, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about that. I guess that's probably pretty standard, but. Uh, but yeah, what else is there? Yeah, 60 minute runtime, lithium ion, ion battery, waterproof, waterproof, cordless, and of course, rechargeable. So, so that's, that's nice. Where do we go next? I'll, yeah, so we got the, we got the adapter plus USB-C cable. Uh, beard shampoo, dude. So I was asking about this last time. Because I don't, I don't use any like products in my beard. But yeah, so here's the beard shampoo. I usually don't use anything. I was asking like, I'm gonna open this up. I was asking people that do, and they say they highly recommend. Like it depends, I guess, what you do. But oh man, that smells. That smells pretty, dude. It smells like. This is what I said last time. It smells like manliness, dude. That's actually not a joke. It smells like... I don't know. I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Actually, maybe it doesn't, dude. I, I actually cannot place what, that's, what it smells like, but it smells good. It, it smells like a spa. It smells like a man at a spa, dude. <laughs> that's, that's what I think it smells like. Um, but yeah, it's good for sensitive skin. All natural ingredients. I'm actually, I'm, do you guys want me to read the instructions too? Sounds gay. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, dude. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Hey, let me read. You know what? They always have really good uh, like stuff on it. So kick the grit from your grizzly atoms. With a shampoo that helps cleanse and hydrate your face mane. That's what it says on here. I'm going to try that out. All right, what is next? We got the beard conditioner. Dude, I don't even use conditioner in my normal hair. So, oh. Oh, it comes in a nice little like tub, mini tub thing. I don't use conditioner in my normal hair. I, I, maybe you guys, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell I don't really use a lot of products for stuff, but I mean, if I want to have my beard take it to the next level, then I, I might have to, dude. Is this shocking? Okay, let's open this one up too. I, I might need a knife for this one, bro. I might not, I might not be able to open this up. But yeah, I gotta, I'll try this. What I, what I did last time is I tried it after stream. I, I, I might have forgotten. I, I said I was going to say it in the Discord, what I thought of it. And I forgot, but, but now I'm, I'm retroactively going back and saying it was great. I can't open this. <laughs> okay, let me read this one, though. I, I, I just I want to smell it, though. Pamper your beard with compounds and antioxidants that rehydrate hair and leave you feeling silky soft. Okay, this one was a lot more tame, but... Yeah, beard conditioner, like I assume. So you go with the shampoo, you go with the conditioner. I kind of, I know how this stuff works. That's for sure. But the, when we get to the oils, I'm, I'm more curious about actually like reading what that does because it's basically foreign to me. But okay. I'll open this in a second. I, I, I don't have like a knife or something in it. 
doesn't have a tab. And I usually I just use my teeth, but I don't want to look like a brute on stream. So uh, it should work for European countries. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, if you want to try it out. D d yeah, I don't, I don't think it co comes with scissors, but maybe that was the gift it gave me. I don't know. Yeah, let me actually. Last time I made such a huge mess when I was opening stuff up. This, this package is smaller, though. So now we got the beard oil. So this one, moisturizing serum. My camera's not very good at focusing, dude. Maybe it's my fault. The beard oil. So this one, I'm interested. So I assume you just use this. Let me see what they say about it. Yeah, all these are, are good for sensitive skin. I, I think my skin is like slightly sensitive, maybe. I don't have a good baseline, but. Infused with sweet almond, sunflower seed, and jo jojoba seed oil. Damn, that's fancy, bro. Yeah, all this stuff is made in the USA, too, as well. Okay, let me see if this is open. <laughs> jo jojoba seed. So this is so you just put it on and then softens beard, increases shine, and helps restore it natural moisture. Yeah, actually, people were saying last time if you got like a dry beard or like an itchy beard or something, I don't really have this issue. But let me see what it smells like. It smells like oil. <laughs> it doesn't not highly scented, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, the U.S. is coming for me, dude. It smells like oil. <laughs> Except it doesn't. It's not, 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 not that kind of oil. Okay, I put some on my hand unintentionally, but I guess we're going to see how that feels. Definitely oily. <laughs> I, I got to wash my hands after I, after I do this so I can not totally destroy my controller. Okay, so that's the beard oily, guys. Man, I, I, I really like unboxing stuff on stream. I'm not good at it, but I feel like this could be my thing, dude. But yeah, I guess it just comes in a little thing, so you can just squeeze it out of there. Okay. Okay, and the last, oh, not the last thing, Beard Balm. I'm sure there's a million people in the chat that Probably 99.9% .9 of the chat knows more about all this, all these products than I do, <laughs> but I'm going to try it out. It's going to be the first time I've tried out a lot of this stuff, like beard oil and lit literally all these things. It'll be the first time I've tried this out. I've never put anything in my beard before. So if I come on stream tomorrow and it's like looking like crazy, then, then you know what's up. But yeah, beard bomb now too. Styling pomade. So this is... More of a, a styling thing, I guess, right? Want to know what I do for my hair? Literally just wash it. <laughs> like, I don't do anything. Um, these ones don't have as, as the, the funny bits on it like the other ones do. Shave balls on stream. I could shave my, my star fist on stream, dude. You shave your star fist and then get it looking like the iron balls, man. That's what we were saying last time. But let me open this one up. Oh, it's got that. Uh, man, I need a... I, I don't have a knife or anything to open. Oh! By some magic, I opened it up. Oh. That smells nice, dude. Let me see what they say about this one. Infused with beeswax, coconut oil... Sweet almond oil and shea butter. Now, shea butter is actually something that my girlfriend uses all the time for her, like, hands and stuff. And I'm not going to lie, I've definitely, you know, sometimes I get some dry hands. I use it too. I'm a believer, basically, is what I'm saying. Beeswax. It smells nice, man. So, so I guess you just, this is like... Pomade styles, shapes, tames, and moisturizes beards of all lengths. So there you go. I guess it's like a styling thing, which is interesting. I, I wonder... I'm so curious to try this stuff, dude. I'm very curious. Okay, and then... 
Okay, here's, here's I think, what the free gift is. At least they gifted it to me, so maybe if you didn't get it, they don't like you as much. Maybe. Also, Nelson, thanks for the Brandy Prime stuff, dude. They sent me a beard brush, dude. A brush for your beard? Like, you're getting the, the full treatment with this, dude. I'm pretty sure this is what you would get, though. This is the free gift. Nice wooden brush. Brushing your beard. It, like, this is crazy, dude. And they also have a beard comb. Oh, Matt, did you, did you got the beard, uh, the beard kit when you ordered it? Is it the best thing? Need it for oil application? Okay. Man, I'm just a brute when I try to open packages, dude. But yeah, you got this, uh, beard comb as well. Oh, free gift. Oh, dude, I didn't even see this. Beard brush, beard comb. Oh, beard scissors. Okay, so I, dis I guess I did get scissors then. Oh, yeah, I totally missed it, dude. Oh, this is actually nice, man. Got some scissors here? Surely I won't. Dang, dude, I feel like I'm, uh, I belong in a barber shop with these things. Oh, nice. I could, I, I, I don't know if it's intended. I can just put it in the, uh, in the case, I guess. I don't think. It, it also, I guess, has like a little sleeve. I should probably keep this so I don't slice myself. Yeah, just sleeve. Yeah, don't cut the camels, dude. Okay, man. Um, and then there's a travel bag. I already have a travel bag, though. I, I'll, I'll show you guys my, uh, the other stuff they sent me. As well. And then we got the we got the the user's guide as well, of course. Last time they um they sent me like newspapers and stuff. It was kinda cool. But yeah, there's also some instructions which I kinda showed earlier, but should I read these? Okay, I'll I'll read these. And then I think that's good for this segment. But yeah, the travel kit's actually great. The uh the travel kit that they they uh, gave me last time. I like I use it all the time. I maybe I should go get it. You'll have to wait for the next time. I'll, I'll pull it out on the next one. Okay, let me read this. This is this is what's on the box, you guys. <laughs> the first thing it says is, "Go on, get wet." Is what they say. And maybe I should just leave it there. You heard them. Get wet, dude. Cleanse and soften your beard with our beard shampoo and conditioner. I'm, I'm so curious to try this stuff, dude. Okay, and then step two. Tame your mane. Detangle any knots with our beard comb for a more even cut uh, once you start trimming. Okay, step three. Turn up your trim. Fire up the beard hedger and sculpt your scruff. Choose between 20 length settings so you'll always get just the right trim. Okay. And then step four, snip, oh, snip the strays. Do any de detail work with the beard scissors. Step five, brush and brush out your burl. I've never even heard of like half these words somehow. <laughs> brush out your final look with your beard brush. And then step six, style and profile. Moisturize and perfect your style with our beard oil and beard balm. Interesting. I, you know, it's funny. For me, I need these instructions because I don't know what to do with some of this stuff, man. Like, I guess I kind of get the idea, but there we go, you guys. That's, that's what they send me. I'm excited to try this out, man, because, yeah, the, the uh, like I said, the other package that they sent me, which I'll show, like, I'll show some of the stuff, especially the bag is super nice. Uh, I will show it on the next segment of... <laughs> Manscape sponsor, dude. Anyways, for now, uh, back to the run, you guys. Let me mi minimize my cam. I think I genuinely one of my favorite parts about being a streamer is getting free stuff that is good. Honestly, it hasn't happened too many times yet, but Manscaped has hooked me up, dude. But anyways. 
Uh, yeah, twenty percent off. You get free international shipping and that free gift. You guys, uh, using that code. So we'll be back in a few, maybe like in an hour. We'll check out the next uh, part two. I I'm pretty sure I'm wearing the boxes right now. I'm fully decked out on Manscaped merch right now, dude. We got the shirt. We got the boxers. Balls no cut run. Yeah, if you want to do that, highly recommend the lawnmower, dude. All right, back to the run. I'm excited to try this stuff out, dude. Since is the word boxes, really? Okay. Um, did I make my cam smaller? I think I did. I'm going to look weird on YouTube. The cam's not the same size. It was about that size, right? <laughs> Gino Manscape Eno. Okay. So plus four wings scythe is what we got. Yeah, I remember we did a poll last. You know what? I'm gonna save it for the next sponsor segment. All faith. 37 faith. <laughs> Balls carrying groomer. <laughs> That's Sounds interesting. The cam size? Yeah, it just like changes ever so slightly throughout the video. I hope you guys like that randomizer all bosses no death run though. That was actually, it's actually, it's really fun for me to watch over some of the runs I did because I, I don't remember the details of them. And uh, that was a fun run, dude. That was a fun run. I didn't remember it being 18 hours long or whatever, but it is what it is. I'm sure Hunter didn't enjoy that. <laughs> Let's go above water. It was epic. It was fun, dude. It was definitely fun. I'm going to go pick up the Somber 3 back here. And whatever this rune arc. Uh, there's probably, yeah, there should be VODs, Vesper. Yeah. I don't know if I ever uploaded that to the second channel, though. You filled Stormvale with the ball enemies. Hit them with the pizza cutter. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that advanced. That sounds like a pretty advanced sponsor move. How much does it take to upload an 18-hour video? I mean, usually if I'm uploading that's something that long, it's just like a Twitch VOD. And this guy is crazy. And so it just, you know, takes a couple hours, I guess. Yeah, probably don't trim your balls with the pizza cutter. That's probably decent advice, yeah. Probably decent advice. Now, is Red Wolf resistant to Holy at all? I, I don't remember. Probably. Probably it's safe to assume every main boss. Is it every main boss? Is it re resistant to Holy? Is there any that aren't? Maybe Gideon? I guess, if, if there's any. Oh, Moose, yeah, I guess. But Moose isn't really... Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's a remembrance. That's true. Here we go. But yeah, I, I definitely prefer doing less damage. But I could go get Howl if we want. Make our damage look better. I'd rather just save Howl for the, um, I'd rather save Howl for the madness setup. That would have been a really good time to do an Ash of War, maybe. I'm going to try it next time I get that attack. Oh, boy.
Actual. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's beautiful, dude. I really. There's a few movesets like this, right? Like Loretta Slash. Angel's Wings, I guess. It's it, very satisfying. I feel like there's probably kind of a worse version of Loretta Slash, though, but. Maybe not. Alright, I don't I don't think we need anything here. We just go kill the boss and start thinking about our build for Altus. Yeah, I might yeah, for PvP for sure. Like when we do PvP this week, I'm almost for sure gonna have access to this weapon. Nice one. Should we kill uh Do we kill whatever the hell this guy's name is? Okay. Bro, how, how are you going to do that to me? Oh, get bled though. Oh my God, it blasted him. Okay, am I going to not get hit on Ranala? Hopefully. Got no more heals. <laughs> Mr. Fucking Idiot. I mean, that could basically be his name. Kept it a bit shorter. <laughs> you think so, Sue? Five hours short. I guess so. I mean, what I used to do for, like, I guess it's only been a few months now. Or it's only been starting this year where I started uploading YouTube videos actually meant to be good YouTube videos, but... I guess I used to upload really long runs. All my I, I used to just upload all my full runs on YouTube, right? So. All right, let's see this DPS here. Wonder what the best. Oh my God, you stupid. Oh. Okay, we got a bleed though. That's pretty disappointing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If, if people remember from the endurance only run, where we one cycled Ranala with a plus seven Golem Halberd, or maybe it was more than plus seven, with literally zero strength. Actually, I, forgot, I totally forgot this thing had bleed on it. Uh, Wolf Hunter, thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Yeah, we got the blade. I'm hopefully the Ash of War does some good work here. Maybe it'll even catch up to her. I should have done a jump attack there. Oh, look at that hit in the air. Should I? Please don't kill me. I'm sorry. Yep, I'm not looking so good here. Oh boy. I have literally nothing to heal me. Spam it. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> this is really bad. Oh, this attack is so garbage, dude. <laughs> DS1 hurts out. All right, fuck off, wolves.
I'm so dead, you guys. High chance of death here. Please bleed. Hi, bastard. Nice. Okay, that was, uh, that was scarier than it had to be. All because I didn't allocate my flasks properly. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm not impressed by this weapon at this point. I think it's kind of mainly a, a PvP thing, which makes sense. Is that Ash of War doesn't have much use for PvE? I guess. Maybe, maybe. I guess if you're fighting an NPC boss, maybe, like one of the few NPC bosses that can even heal. Uh, Tarugo, uh, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Yeah, not super impressed, but we did it anyways. All right, probably the next step, we want to go kill the uh, Crystallion. No, I, I did a hitless run with the uh, Halo Scythe, which definitely seems like a, a stronger version. All right, I think in, um, in Altus, we're probably going to go with the spell setup, probably. I think. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Oh, dude, the black knife. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we could maybe go with the black knife, but I, I, I want to start using some spells, I think, though. I'd like to start using spells. Uh, bingo question with the weapon randomizer. Do I think it's a good strategy to check the quick twin blade? It definitely can be. I mean, last time I did bingo, it was the, uh, um, did I save these runes? Last bingo match I did, it was the black flame, or it was the, um, the stitcher, right? Or the, not the stitcher, the Godskin peeler. So it, it could be, yeah. Yeah, we, we definitely should use Rykard's sword at some point. But it's probably just going to be later. We may have to kill some extra bosses on this run to actually use all the different builds I want to. Hello? Oh my god. And I got damage there somehow. Yeah, I just wanted to say hi. That's true. Of course he did. Seriously? The impossible angle. Blasphemous Blade trivializes millennia. Yeah, we can use it on millennia then. Yeah, that's that, that's probably a reasonable place to use it because for Rykard, I want to use Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike ever. and... That won't be until later, right? You get where do you get that from again? Can't remember. Uh, Daddy Mod, thanks for the twenty-five month prime resub, dude. Yeah, farm. Yeah, so we can use that for uh for Rikard, and then after Rikard, we can do Millennia or something.
How did I strafe that? At least done. Here we go. First bell bearing. Is there anything else we got to do here? Oh, dude, I didn't... Ah, uh, I didn't put the faith tier in. Whoops. Or the holy tier, I mean. Any tips to dodge Red Wolf when he coordinates attacks with Gloomplay? It's honestly very tough when he does the triple. I think, um... I don't know. It, when he when he's in his horrible arena, what I, what I like to do for the the Red Wolf the champion in Altus is sp sprint to the the left and jump, and it's a consistent way to dodge it on that one as long as your spacing's right. Because if he does the running jump attack, then you'll you'll strafe everything. But usually that's what I try to do on the Red Wolf in the academy as well. But since the arena's so bad. It's not quite the same. Need dragon hearts? Oh yeah, we're we're hundred percent gonna kill Makara. I mean, we have to kill Makara, right? There's no other option on region lock. I I haven't gotten golden vow. I guess I could though. I'm just I'm not really rushing to make my damage super high because it's more fun when I deal less damage. But at the same time, then you're not getting. I guess you're not getting as clear of a picture of how good something is. I don't know. Yeah, you can go back. Yeah, you can go back whenever you want. It's just you can't go forward. That is true. The damage is pretty low, Maybe even if I got Golden Vow and stuff. We'll get Golden Vow Incantation. Ever. That's what we'll do for sure. And Howl is sort of like a risky strat. High risk, high reward strat. Apple juice. Thanks for the three month resub, dude. Welcome back. Doing plus zero run. Had some trouble at Godskin Duo. New sleep pots. Buckler parry. Yeah, I mean, Godskin Duo is like one of the toughest fights in the game if you're not using sleep, I think. If not the toughest, even. Maybe not the toughest, but yeah. No, parrying is a good strategy. Definitely, I like getting Golden Parry or something like that for them. For the Noble Parry so that you have more range. I really like this Ash of War, though, man. I hate this R2. Just such a bad R2. It's insane. I'm pretty sure they also buffed this R2 at one point. They, they made it faster. And I remember after after I did the uh, Halo Scythe no hit run, I was like, wow, they buffed the Charger 2 and it's still just horrible. So I did the no hit run, they buffed it on one of the later patches and it's still this slow. I believe. And I have no idea why. Because it's not like it's got crazy multipliers. It's not like it does a ton of poise damage or something. It's... It's just bad. Probably the worst R2 in the game. Good damage on these guys, though. Oh, the crit damage of the... Really? Like, it's actually bugged? I guess there's a rune arc up there I could get. I think it's a rune arc. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Mission of love. Uh, PSEL, thanks for the four month prime resub. I don't think I need that somber. This is my, I think this is my favorite dungeon in the game. I, I don't know which one would come close to it. Like, favorite uh, non legacy dungeon, I guess.
If only all of them were this good. Oh no. Dude. I'm really not a fan of this weapon. There's not many weapons that I start using and I'm like, wow, this is not that good. I'm feeling that way about this one. DS2 fist only run. I did a fist only no hit run in DS2. At some point. Although to be fair, I was using the Vanquisher seal, so it's not really the same. I also did a fist only. I, I did a fist run, no hit run in DS3 as well. This guy's totally floating. Wait, is there like some invisible floor that I'm not aware of here or what? That's weird. Okay, maybe it can hit bats well. Okay. No! Oh. <laughs> I thought I was getting grabbed. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Smoke pigs, thanks for the three month resub as well. All right, we're going to be getting into the, the hard-hitting faith weapon, or faith setup soon, I think. So far, we're starting pretty weak, I would say. Like, we could have used the Golden Halberd, and that would have looked a lot better in the early game. But I've already used the Golden Halberd a, a decent amount, so I'd rather use something else. Uh, I have not done bow only yet, no. Maybe I should have killed this guy. Please don't blast me. Yeah, I'll take poison. We have not done bow only yet. Uh, you can't get medallions on region lock because you got to get to Kaelin. And you can't complete Kaelin. Well, I, I mean, technically, you could do Liurnia, kill Renala, go to Kaelin after. And then, like, do the quest line to start the, the festival, but it's just way less work to just kill Makar. How's it going, uh, Millennia Blade of Beehole? <laughs> How's it going, dude? And Ballista only? I don't think I've ever used that before. How good is this going to be on Makar? What, what type of damage? Is Slash? Slash is good, fine here, right? I don't know. Doing region lock all bosses, does Kaelid come before Altus or after? I, usually it would be... Uh, usually it would be after. But... Like I said, if you do that, if you do the Rani quest line or whatever, just to trigger the festival before going to Altus, then you could do it that way. He's stronger slash. That is unfortunate. Ow. Oh my god. It's got a lot of hyper armor, though. <laughs> it just almost killed me. Oh, okay. Those both, at least the second one missed. Let's see how much damage. Yo, that's a big, that's a big repost right there, man. That's a 110 repost. That's what that was. Oh, wait. Oh, did we bleed? Oh, maybe we did bleed. Okay, that would make a lot more sense. Oh, I want to try something, actually. Do that attack again. Do it. What is wrong with you? Come on, man. Oh my god, he's just refusing. Oh, and now he does it? And now I stun them. <laughs> well. It probably wouldn't have worked anyways. I just want to see if I can jump over his little AoE with this attack. I guess this is a faith scaling weapon, sort of. Magworm Scale Sword. Except I, I'm kind of done using weapons. I feel like we gotta we gotta start using some spells now, dude. For a bit. The the one last weapon I would like to use though is the um. I wouldn't mind using the Blasphemous Blade.
region lock just means for the for this run it means that you can't leave an area such as limgrave like so all of limgrave all of limgrave you can't leave until you kill the main boss uh we could use vike spear i guess but i i want to start going with spells now i definitely would like to do a spell build here um uh what do we go with though so many options with incantations man Let me see our spell list again. What do we want to use here? Do we want to go Black Flame now? Do we want to go... Unfortunately, you get so many of these spells later, right? We go Madness, I guess. <laughs> Poison Mist. Um, I would love to go with these Dragon Cult Incantations. But it's just there's so much later. We have to we have to We have to compromise somehow, dude. Because we can't just wait forever to get all these spells. Bleed doesn't really make sense for this place. We could go black flame. We could go beast incantations, but we don't have Kalid, so we can't. So just kidding. Oh, we can go crucible, but I need something to kill crucible. So, I'd kind of rather do Crucible after. But then we don't have the... We don't have the... The breath, though. This is tough, man. How's it going, decomposing? This is tough. I don't know what to do. Some of these are just so late in the game. You could just go with fire, but <laughs> I, I I don't know, man. You could go madness. Should we just go madness, dude? Maybe you know what? Light maybe we should just go with some of these lightning ones. Because the lightning's good against gold free. I think it's okay against more god, especially in phase two. Yeah, we could we, let's just go with some of those lightning ones, dude. Okay. Let's do it. So let's go back here. Let's just see what lightning ones we can get access to. Definitely when we fight when we fight. When we go into uh, Volcano Manor, I'll use, like, Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike and stuff. Uh, we could use Lancehouse Glaive, yeah. Yeah, we can definitely use that. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to kill the boss, though. Yeah, Black, Black Knife could be used on a later area, especially if we want to combine it with Black Flame. I think that makes sense. But yeah, so I, I'm, uh, this good stuff light. We can we can use those golden order incantations at some point too. It's just I prefer to stick with each region having some theme of a build. So here we'll go lightning. Um Yeah, and what I've done for all the previous ones is just go with like a certain weapon or I think there's one when I did the arcane, I did like an arcane spell build for one of the regions too. So yeah, we we certainly can use that. I'm going to go kill this knight. Unlock discus early. Yeah, we just got to do it before after, before uh, burning the earth tree, right? East incans, not yet. Um, we once we get into Kalid, we can consider it. You know, I might have to kill some extra bosses on this run, you guys, compared to normal. We might have to go kill 
some extra ones. Just because there's so many different builds that I want to try out. And I think there's too many there's too many different setups for the amount of boss I normally fight. So it's gonna make this run quite a bit longer, though. We'll see what happens. Look, we might have to go kill Estelle. We might kill Fortisax, and Fortisax also gives us a cool spell, right? I have no idea, John, dude. No, it's, it, no, it's not an issue at all. Definitely not an issue. The only one who uh, could potentially be an issue for is my editor. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we do here. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. That was not good. Go for a nice backstab, maybe. Ow. Oh. I'm getting destroyed. This Ash of Wars, it like it's definitely um not bad. I I, I can just imagine Loretta slash though, dude. The, st the steam coming off the enemy is the effect of this scythe. I, I I don't know if there's any other weapon in the game that gives this effect. There's there's also the there's the one pot that does I guess right the Albanark pot maybe, but it prevents enemies from using their flasks. Right? It's just it's not really that useful in PVE, but for PVP that's obviously like insanely good, right? Oh, you are free. I would are we going to talk to the I turtle guy? In which case... oh, very well. Yeah, we can learn some of our spells here. Oh, what have we? Very well. Heresy. All thing. Okay, so for lightning stuff, we've got Electrify Armament, Honed Bolt, and Lightning Spear. And lightning Spear is pretty good, I think. Let me see what other lightning stuff we've got. So, Lightning Strike. Oh, it's from Weeping. Okay, so we could go get that. Can I, like, sort these or no? Incantation by Type? Ah, here we go. Okay, these are the Dragon Cult ones. See, but again, this is where I'm like, yeah, maybe we should just wait until later so that we can get all these spells and then use them all. But, realistically, there's we're not going to be waiting, so... I mean, we can basically get these. I could, if I just go underground, I could get this, I guess. But I don't, I don't really want to go underground. I mean, just going with these three spells is probably fine. And then we can get Lancey Axel Ave too. But I, I'm pretty sure it's not a great spell. We'll still go with it. I don't think I'm going to use this. Get frozen lightning? Should I get it? It just... It's not really... I could go get it and just count as like a free area or something. Not really region locked to go get it though. I think it'd be cool to use it. I guess we can just go down from here, right? Let's just, you know what? Let's just go do it. Why the hell not? We'll count it as a part of Liurnia, I guess. Also, I kind of need more memory stones, I'm realizing. How to kill Estelle? Yeah, I mean, we kind of do. I'll just, I'll just go get it. Count as, as Liurnia or something. No big deal. And I, I, it's very rare that you ever go down this way, too. There's almost no need of going down from the underground from this direction because you can just get there from. Well, or we could do the skip and kill Loretta, but I'll, I'll just go down, down this way. Never come here.
Wow, I was not where I thought I was there. Death Blight worked in PvP. Does it not work? Or is it just not good? Auto mod just has a mind of its own sometimes. Should we use the lightning spear on this boss? Also, which seal should we use? I mean, probably the best would be the Ur tree seal. Or the... I always get them mixed up. The Sacred Order or the Ur-Tree? No, probably at this point, we got a lot of faith. I think... The Sacred Order seal. Which one is that one? How, like, how good of scaling is it? Oh, Sacred Order's in faith. Okay, so I guess not then. I, I don't know. Oh, the gravels. Okay. Actually, don't even know where that is, though. Insane Golden Rune 1. But yeah, just Volcano Manor is not going to be in until later, so... What is the gravel seal scale with, mostly? Is it... Is it What's the Garonk seal? That's the strength one, right? I I don't know. Yeah, the claw mark, yeah. Yeah, we can definitely uh Maybe I'll start with the Godskin seal just because we have it and it's somber. Oh boy, I forgot about all these guys, dude. Uh, this is our th third single stat playthrough so far. This is the third one. It's th the first one where it's like an actual... Um... Like pure damage dealing stat. All the other ones kind of... You know, I did Endurance and Arcane. Which sort of are damage... Or at least arcane sort of damage uh, scaling stat, but not really. I don't remember if there's a stake at this boss, so. Yeah, we'll definitely get the uh, gravel seal, I guess. I assume with our build, it it's probably best to just go with the... You know, Erd Tree Seal and have Gravel Seal offhand. I assume that works, but. Again, it's in Volcano Manor. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to go to Volcano Manor until we're done Far Missoula, so. Parry the boss? I don't think you can parry this guy. Let's go on Hemlocks, dude. Bingo practicing against Bushy? I, I might, I guess. I'm honestly not planning on doing that much bingo practice because. We gotta get the God Run 3 first, but... Like, I, I I, mean... I would... I definitely want to make sure I get God Run 3 before bingo happens. And he's gonna be instant phase 2. Oh, boy. And this guy does no damage, thankfully. Are you gonna stun? Finish him. This is one of the very few runs I've done where this guy actually survives some hits. not very often where this guy like actually survives in phase two. 
Okay. So we got three spells. Now let's go... Go here. Let me see where this... Where's Lightning Strike from? That is a Scarab. Minor Urtree. I don't actually know where this is, dude. I was also going to get the uh, Memory Stone over there, but... We're looking for Lightning Strike. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know where that is, I think. I just don't really remember how to... If you have to drop from behind to get there. Man, I haven't been to this area we're going to since, since my first playthrough, dude. Oh, man. Hopefully there's some of the gravestones on this side. Wow. Yeah, I've, I haven't been here in a very long time. I forgot this even existed. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus, dude. And there's a lot of those Fulgur Bloom things here. Man, I thought this had Hyper Armor. Didn't I Hyper Armor a uh, Makar attack? What happened to that? <laughs> get Echo located. Okay. Uh, let's go get a Memory Stone from somewhere. Round table. And I guess we're going to upgrade the God Slayer seal. I just, I, I don't know what other seal would make sense at this point. Especially since I'm probably going to use the seal again for the Black Flame spells. Yeah, the problem with Earth Trees, it's in Volcano Manor, right? And I'm not going to be going there anytime soon. So, Lightning Spear is also an invisible spell, right? Um, but yeah, I guess... I'm gonna go pick up the, the Sacred Order Seal, just to see. Yeah, only uncharged, yeah, but that's still very useful, though. Incredibly useful when spells can't be seen like that. Uh, why can I not use this? Is it... Oh, because I'm on a horse. <laughs> I was wondering, dude. Forgot I was on my horse. We are going to get Lanciax Glaive, I guess. Or maybe... You know, this, this to me, seems like a pretty good set of spells. Or a pretty um, decent set of spells. So maybe we'll do, like, two sections of the Dragon Cult Incantations, man. We'll do this one for Altus, and then we'll do one later once we get into Volcano Manor. Maybe that's what we'll do. And then that th there's when I can use, you know, Angel Dragon Lightning Strike and use, uh, like, the red ones, you know? So here are like the basic ones, and then we'll use the the other ones. Yeah, the ancient ones. Are they all ancient, really? I guess sorta. All the red ones. Um, I should also probably kill Godefroy. I just I want to figure out what seal to use for now. 
Honestly, even the basic finger seal is maybe even better. Hmm, maybe I should go with just the finger seal. Get to plus... We could get a plus, I don't know. I mean, technically plus 17, but... Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. What do you guys think? What's up, uh, Galerock? Thanks for the 11-month resub, dude. Like, I, if I'm not mistaken, the finger seal actually is probably better at this point if I get it upgraded. Oh, yeah, we can... Yeah, the gravel seal. That's right. I kind of forgot about that. But we're probably going to want something upgraded before that point, though. Maybe we'll go with the dragon... Uh, we'll go with the god slayer, then. Because we're definitely going to use god slayer eventually. But yeah, the seal is probably not that important right now. I faith should just carry, but I, I do want to go pick up this other seal just to see it. I, I It's like 17 int, right? I'm just going to go get it. And then, and then we'll just upgrade the Godslayer seal to plus four or something. Oh, is it, is it really 20? Wow. Godslayer, Gravel, and Urtree are all S in faith. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll start with the Godslayer seal then. Yeah, I, I definitely can't remember offhand where the uh, Gravel seal is, but... I just want to see this. Fundamentalist incantations. I mean, maybe I'll use some of these. Let me see what these are. Like, these are the Golden Order ones, right? Radagon's Rings of Light. They require a bunch of int, though. So maybe I won't be using those. All right, let's go to EG. Let's upgrade the God Slayer seal. Anyone done region survival? Spawn Altus, beat Altus with only items found in Altus? Not that I know of, but... Dude, it's Smithing Stone? Oh my god, I had no idea. Okay, well, that's fine. Why did I think it was a somber thing? Maybe, maybe... It's fine. We could just get to ever. plus 12. Gino, easy. Should be easily good enough for now. Uh, Nashaw, thanks for the nine-month resub. I'll give you the best nut And McCerts, thanks for the brand new Prime sub as well. All right, now this run's going to be cooking, dude. The, the melee weapons were decently fun, but this is what we're all here for. Starting to use these cool incantations. Yeah, Urtree, honestly, though, we're going to have to be going with Gravel until at least Farm Missoula. Yeah, probably with the seals, though. I'm actually not going to... I don't think I'm going to swap around the seals too much, actually, now that I think about it. I'll probably just... Um, just stick with whatever seal is the best, because that's usually what you do. I've never used this one before. Oh! Man, what is that hitbox on it? Oh my god! This one's dude, really slow, right? That's so oh. shit! That is so shit! That is such a garbage! Oh god. Oh my god! Uh, Kraken Helm, thanks for the two gifted subs, dude. Make sure. Got a sub from Kraken, make sure you thank him. Oh my god, why do your poison things do so much damage, dude? What is this frozen lightning spear hitbox? I don't understand the spell. A 
It, it doesn't really work in the cave, I guess. Or something. It's a bloner stamp. Gotta see what this one looks like. Cause yeah, all of it got stuck on the on the roof of the cave. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, 900 damage, dude. It's not bad. box is kind of deceptive because it looks like it was supposed to hit that guy but it just never did and it's hitbox is not so great interesting go to run table oh the initial stake has a hitbox as well let me see if this guy's got anything cool for me to buy I would like to go fire at some point. I just, fire's kind of basic, and I don't think at this point. Oh man, imagine a rejection. Does rejection do any damage in this game? Fire's kind of basic. I don't know if we're ever gonna have enough, or we're ever gonna go with like a fire only setup here. Okay, so, what are we at already? Plus one. So we need, whoops, we need 10 of those, 12, 12, and 12. Wrath of Gold? Is Wrath of Gold as good as, like, is Wrath of Gold any decent? Because it's meant to be Wrath of the Gods, right? Those Wrath of the Gods in the in the older games was pretty good, and basically all of them. I mean, DS One was insanely good, but DS Three wasn't bad either. Okay. Um, who should we kill first? Actually, probably the DTS makes sense, and then we can get our gravel seal upgraded. Or. What am I going to kill Godfroy at some point, too? It's getting Ritual Sword Talisman is going to be good. Because we are trying to get some more damage here, I think. Oh, I can, dude, I, I can also go get the, the seal in, or the, the, sorry, the talisman slot. Okay, let's try to get the frost proc here. Might be decent on this bigger enemy. Oh, I should have gone close, I guess. Maybe, maybe best I mean, <laughs> dude, not bad. Really not bad at all, considering. Dang. Yeah, I mean, Gilk has no health, but we got a horrible build here right now. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. I'll take that. Dang, dude. Go get that talisman slot. I don't No, It can't be charged. I don't think. But yeah, that double hit on close range is pretty solid, dude. And I think we killed the boss too quickly to get a... A frost proc there, even. Talisman pouch. I don't know what I can put in here right now, but... We can go get the lightning... We can also... Yeah, we can go get the lightning talisman as well. Where does corn leave to again? I can't remember. I'll just buy that. I can happen. Um, Alright, next step, I think we're going to go into the catacomb. And get the lightning talisman.
Hey, this build's looking promising now. I didn't maybe, realize Fro maybe. Frozen Lightning Spear was that could actually be decent. Swap Physic? We got the Physic. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> You're right. That's a very good point. So we were even missing 20% damage there. Not to mention, we're not using Howl or anything else yet. A Golden Vow is probably the one I'm going to use right when I get it, but we're probably not going to use it until later, so I, I don't know. Uh, Basura, thanks for the brand new sub. Uh, also, Leo, thanks for the three-month advance sub as, as well. Thanks so much, you guys. Man, this will be like when we did the whip run, and I just totally... Um, never... I never put the sharp infusion on the on the Arumi. So I was just getting way less damage than I should have been the entire game. I really like the icons for these spells and the blue color looks nice too. Let's try some honed bolt. How much range does this have? Not quite enough. What about Lightning Strike? Interesting. Not sharp, it's keen. Yeah, I guess so. It flattened the little man. Hey, okay, good, good thing I have Stone Sword Keys. Oh! Nice AI. Oh! Come on, bro. You know, I kind of made a mistake by not spending on my runes, but it's okay. Should be fine. I, I'll probably just... Maybe I'll just kill this knight up here. if I can get this off in time. That's unfortunate. And that was a lot of damage. I thought I had a chance of surviving that. I should have just ran, dude. Oh, Radagon's Icon. That's a good point. I totally forgot about that. Surely I won't lose 70k runes. Be unfortunate. Surely it won't. Come on, bro. Well, we need to take the elevator back up because I didn't. There we go. Yeah, we need to take the elevator back up because I should have I should have spent all my runes, but I didn't, so. No, at Armor Core 6? Uh, probably not. Realistically. Uh, can I turn this guy, maybe? Please don't actually kill me. Please don't. That's in- that is actually insane. 
That's insane, dude. It just doesn't make any sense. That's so stupid. Well, I should have set the elevator up, I guess. <laughs> that is so stupid. But yeah, I, I don't even know if I'm going to play Armor Core 6, honestly. It doesn't really interest me that much. I should have cuck read him instead. Yeah, I got out lightninged. That's true. What a disaster. How is this dungeon such a disaster, man? He's have no health, probably. Owie, that really hurt. That's why I was kind of not doing that earlier. <laughs> Imagine I... Please do not lose these runes, man. Surely Blue Dancer will save me. Yeah, see, I should use a Kukri. What I should have done. Well, we made it. Now we just got to make it back out. Lightning Scorpion Charm. I don't think there's any reason to kill the boss. Oh, it's... Oh, why is he walking? What is he doing? <laughs> what is he fighting? Oh, he's fighting a blob, dude. Idiot. Yeah, kill these fucking blobs, bro. <laughs> I didn't know he could fight a blob, dude. Oh, boy. He's fighting a slime. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, well, we made it out, I think. Zombie, thanks for the... 10 month prime reset, dude. We made it out. All for a talisman that is gonna make me take a shit ton of damage. Maybe I didn't know he he triggered to those I'll enemies though. That's interesting. Not ever. Love the video and streams, man. Uh Larkin, thanks for the two month prime sub as well. Thanks so much, dude. Okay, let's go get Radagon Sword Seal, uh, or Radagon Scar Seal, Radagon's pal icon, because <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Third time's a charm, dude. Maybe, maybe. And then we're gonna get the uh, Godfrey's icon. Awesome possum! Thanks for the brand new prime sub. Thanks, possum. Why, why is it, dude, why is it Godfrey's, like, why, why do they name these talismans like this? What's the lore behind maybe, it, dude? Maybe, maybe, I'll give you What charge stuff ever. does Godfrey do? Love your streams. Keep up the awesome content. What does that have to do with Ash of Wars and, I guess, is this Ash of War, Ash of War, is this Ash of War charged? Can you charge it? The slam? Here we go. Lardy, thanks for the four mouth primary sub as well. Anyways, let's go, uh, let's go kill Godfroy. Ass of War. Let's go on Revan. <laughs> Dude, what is that emote, man? Okay, let's also use this. Surely I won't die again. Um, what else are we going to want to be picking up here? Yeah, Radagon's icon makes sense, but Godfrey's icon, I don't... I don't understand it. Well, 
Well, Marco's sword shield is like way later in the game. Oh, I guess we, we want to kill the Crucible Knights too. But that's probably not for a little bit. Because I want to I want to use Ordovice's greatsword for something. It's a good weapon. Perhaps I should have leveled up. I'm too late. Alright, let's see our damage here, dude. I want to try this Frost one, see if we can proc Frost. It's going to be huge on him. Frozen Lightning. Please don't blast me right away, though. Okay, when am I able to get this off here? Guess we can do it from range. Can we get a Frost here? There it is. But the second part missed him. Lightning strike. It's okay. I I really like the frozen lightning spear. It just why is that not hitting though? That's so slow. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I'm gonna lose so many rune arcs. I thought I'd be able to roll out of that sooner than I was able to. I guess I don't really need rune arcs for this. Too badly. Why is the frozen lightning spear not hitting twice? I gotta like use it from further back. This one hits him twice, I think. Okay, lightning spear is actually bad. Or not lightning spear. Lightning lightning strike. Alright, Godfroy. Please hit him twice, though. There we go. Six twenty-two. Is this a joke? I didn't use the physic this time. Gonna have to use this one from slightly further back. Go for that headshot. Not gonna, I'm not gonna go for a risky hit here. I'm just gonna kill him. Okay, there we go. Godfrey Icon. Surely the Draconic Sentinel is gonna go well with this, you guys. <laughs> when I did the uh, when I did the Arcane run, I actually like really got stuck on him because I had a plus some garbage weapon, dude. 53 faith. I'm gonna go get a... I'm gonna go get this golden foot. Offhand, is there a glinstone staff? I guess I can, but there's probably better options for later. I'm not really too worried about my cast speed at this point. I also didn't have the icon on there. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut uh, ever. Popox, thanks for the five month primary sub. Welcome back, dude. Right damn skellies.
Might as well just get some more money from this boss. Beast magic leveling strength. Well, you don't... Like, the way, the way spells work in these games, at least in this one, is the only thing that matters is that incant scaling, right? And, and I guess for sorcery, the, the sorcery scaling, whatever it's called. It's actually the only thing that matters, so... The spells themselves don't scale with anything other than that, so it's not like certain spells scale with stats or whatever. So yeah, if you're using the beast incantations, it, you know... It's not like they just scale with strength. If, if you're using the... Whatever the, the claw mark seal, that one scales with strength, so... Um, at least I think it does. So then it would, but... Yeah, it's not like the spells directly scale with your stats, it scales with a seal. Wrath of Gold. Well, we kind of we kind of got this setup going here, so we'll, we'll stick with this. I imagine this should be good on Gold Free. Once we get into uh, once we get past Morgoth, we'll figure out something to use for for Fire Drone. I guess we should probably go kill Lanciax, man. This is probably gonna suck. But yeah, I assume it works the same as with sorceries where you can put, you, you know, an offhand seal that gives you the bonus and then it'll give you more damage. So, um, so yeah, I would assume the best setup for using, like, it depends on your stats, right? But if you're going pure faith, probably going with the Erdtree seal is the best and then having the claw mark seal in your offhand and I assume you still get the bonus. Or just jellyfish shield. Oh, pesticides or fire giants, actually a really good call. It's true. Is there, what other physical incantations are there? Are there? I guess there's the beast ones, right? Is that it? Like the rock throw? I mean, we can, we can definitely use the beast incantation for a fire giant. That makes a lot of sense. Lightning's good on fire giant, though. But We could try. Yeah, we could definitely try the boulder and stuff. I've already used Pestos on Fire Giant, so I, I already know what it does. Okay, this is really going to suck. Maybe the Frost will do something. I don't know. I'm already dead. Oh, my God. I got so lucky right there, man. Maybe I can pick his head. Away. We did get a frostbite proc. You know, it's actually not as bad as I thought. I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Yeah, we can just, like, run away and lock on. and We can probably cheese him, too. Hope this is not too slow. What about lightning strike on a big enemy? I guess, does it, it always hits once? Disappointing. Um, okay, let me run away. Oh, now that hits multiple times, though. Dude, a frozen lightning spear. <laughs> like, it's probably the best one so far. Is that frostbite? Giving us the extra damage, of course, too. You fuck right off, dude. You're kidding me. I 
to reposition, dude. I'm so scared of the sheep. Get away from me. Just a little inconsistent, I guess. Sometimes it hits three times, sometimes it hits once. Oh my god, this boss's terrain is so bad. Please hit. I, just, I don't want to be too close when I do this, so I get blasted. It should be one more hit. There we go. You know, that actually went better than I thought. Because I was just thinking we were going to deal zero damage to this boss. But yeah, we'll use the glaive a bit later. Um, I guess, you know what? Let's go get the black knife too, because I think we're going to use the black knife at some point. So... Let's go try it on the assassin. Lightning Spear should be good on the assassin because it's not going to dodge it. Yeah, Honed Bolt, I guess, but it was probably just too slow. That's why I didn't use it. I really like Frozen Lightning Spear, though. This Frostbite is so good to have. This definitely got it. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's see. We do have Rydagon Icon on. Oh, you're saying the bolt. Oh. Yeah, we can try it, I guess, here. Let's see if I can... Get a Lightning Spear off here. Oh! I'm dead. Just kidding. I want to see if I can get a Frostbite proc somehow. I just, I don't know when. I don't know how I'm ever going to get it off, though. Okay, maybe we'll just stick to Lightning Spear. Oh, that's decent damage. Not bad. Seriously. Here we go. Yeah, I think we are going to use the block knife. Maybe. All right, I've been stalling the DTS for long enough. Is your staff offhand speed up? It should, I think, yeah. But yeah, Lightning Spirit, like I said, Lightning Spirit is, is an invisible, it's not, it's basically the same as an invisible sorcery, right? Where enemies will not input read it. I don't know if it says that in the description. But, but yeah, so it's, it's really good for sure. Uh, actually, yeah, stopping at the church might have been a good good idea, but honestly, plus six flask with the amount of HP and FP we have, it, it won't change anything. I guess I'll go get the grace down here. East Capital Rampart, jump fixed. Uh, Yeah, they changed it. Yeah, you can't do it anymore. You can do like a different version of it, but probably not worth it. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'll just come down here after. I can't be bothered to go... Go down there and then have to run back up. Yeah, I'm thinking the frost is going to be really good here. 
If I can get it off. Maybe I'll sneak behind, I guess. I, I need every advantage I can get here, I think, dude, if, if these are going to work. Frozen Lightning Spear. Can I get another one? Probably could have. No, the damage isn't t that terrible, though. What attack are we waiting for? Maybe let's get a sprint attack. If the fireballs ever stop. This should be safe, I think. Nice. Drink. Another one, maybe? Oh, boy. I'm dead. Yeah, just a bit too slow. Honestly, the damage is really decent, though, considering. I just... I shouldn't have greeted with that lightning spear, though. Frozen lightning spear. Okay. I was just I since I had a drink, I just didn't have enough time. But if I if I didn't have to drink, it would have worked. I don't think there's any point in me using a Rune Arc right now. Shoot. I'm probably dead here too. Just kidding. Yeah, it just it the spell's definitely just a little slow, but it's really good though. So now we can just go with lightning spears. So didn't use the physic. It's probably safe. Ring. Why are you spamming? Okay, we're ready to get frost again. Whenever I have time. Why is he spamming this attack? Are you stupid? Let's see if I can get it. Frost. Frost again. Is it because I'm too far? Like, the boss thinks I'm too far away or something? It really doesn't do that. Of course. Is this some, like, 110 AI? <laughs> what is going on here, dude? He's actually bugged out. That is not normal. Oh my god, and he keeps doing the, the follow-up that has the huge AoE around him. Actual bugged 110 AI is going on here. Look at that spam, too. He definitely does not normally do that when you're at this range. Weird. Oh my god, that was a terrible roll. Maybe it's because... I, I don't know. Maybe there's some weird stuff going on with the spell. He just wants to punish the spell or something. I don't understand. Okay. Please get this off in time. Nice. I think I got it off, right? That's weird. That's not normal, dude. That is totally not normal. But yeah, maybe it's just because I'm I'm fighting him further away than I normally do, but that's like a decent strategy when you're fighting the boss though, I think, is you just kinda like sit back, wait for him to do his sprinting jump attack, and then punish whatever he does. That was weird though.
All right, we got a bunch of levels. Yeah, I think I think we got that off. Yeah, an extra few thousand. I, I don't know how much he normally drops though. Yeah, I, I guess yeah. I don't normally use spells on him. You know what? It's a perfect time for you guys. Part two. Oh, he drops fifty k. Okay. Part two of this sponsorship. Pause the timer. Manscaped part two, you guys. <laughs> All right. Let me, um, yeah, for anyone who's, who's just coming in, yeah, with that, that link right there, it will automatically apply the discount. You get 20% off plus free international shipping plus a free gift. So you can see, you click that link. You come in here. Oh, save with coupons. Look at that. Edge is, Edge is great, dude. I don't know if the other brides just have that too, but. Not an Edge sponsor, by the way. Um, so, yeah, so, so normally what we did last time is a Q&A at this point, but we'll do, you know, there's only so many questions, but let's do a poll in the chat. Let's do a poll in the chat. New poll. Got to make sure I spell stuff right so I don't look like an idiot. Do you have facial hair poll? I'll put a third option because... Actually, you know what? I won't because people are going to be stupid. <laughs> it's yes or no. Well, actually, okay. Maybe, maybe like... Almost. <laughs> Okay, we'll put a we'll put a five minute poll, dude. Five minute poll. I think almost is a is a legitimate answer. Answer in the poll. I'm cu I'm curious because last time I did a poll when we did Manscaped, I think like ninety percent of people said yes, which was surprising to me. How much? Can well, that's why I put like the almost in there. Let's see again, dude. Maybe not 90%, but... It's a good amount, dude. I'm brave with the questions. Is that a brave question, really? It could be a lot worse of a question. Let me go get uh, the other... Let me go get the other thing that they sent me last time so I can show you guys the... Uh, the... Like, carrion case. Okay. What is this poll at? Okay. Definitely mostly yes still. Maybe maybe that's why they like uh maybe that's why they like my audience, dude. Cuz they know. This is what they sent me last time. So this is uh what you get. This is the uh, wow, I actually didn't even realize I still had the tag on it somehow. But I I've been using this. Like, cause you know, sometimes I go plays on weekends and stuff and I need to, need to take my stuff. So I got, you know, I got the lawnmower in there. I got the crop preserver. I got the crop reviver. And now definitely, and a nice addition to this is going to be the brush and stuff. Dude, I, there's so many, there's so many polls I could have here. Have you, like, I'm curious about people's usage of products. So, so most people so far were at. 100 people have said yes to having facial hair. 42 have said almost. So that's like kind of yes, but not quite. And then 22, no. So over 50% are at yes. Like, what is that? 70% almost, dude? 60, 70%? Next poll, <laughs> do you shave your balls? Well, you probably should anyways, but... Like, I don't know. Um... Have you, like, I'm curious, how many people, maybe I'll do a poll for this next time, but how many people have used products in their facial hair, dude, or in their beard? Because I've, I've never done it before. And I guess today's going to be the first day, dude. Never. Like, I'll be able to, I'll be able to give some recommendations after this, I guess, if, if I get a, you know, after I see how I feel about it, but.
I, maybe it's just because I'm lazy or something, but I just, I, I don't know, man. Not, no, I, I've never used beard, or, beard, or, beard oil. I've never used like beard wax or anything, but I'm going to today though, or, you know, whenever, maybe tomorrow, now that I've got it. I just, it's not something I've thought about going to buy. You're gonna be trying out, dude. I like we'll see. Well, aftershave doesn't count, of course. But yeah, let me pull up the uh but yeah, I mean these are all the packages. They actually they did send me something else too that I can't show yet because that's for the next uh next manscape stream. They sent me something else that I'm interested in. I'll probably try it out before the stream as well. Because it's it's not as it's not like a big package like one of these ones. Um so yeah, I'll be able to try it out. It'll, it'll be a bit different because I can actually like tell you what I feel, how I feel about it, um, as the stream goes on, but, but I can say for sure the perfect package I, I use and I like it. It's definitely an upgrade on what I had before. Um, and I, you know, I assume this will be as well. What's the handyman? Compact face shaver. Need a touch up away from home. Okay, so it's like a on the go, dude. It's interesting. I, I'm I'm not usually um. Yeah, this must be new. I yeah, I'm pretty sure this. I I don't remember if this was here last time, but um, I'm not usually a big shopper, but when it's stuff like this, dude, I kind of I get a little excited, man. Now I I finally. I finally know how it feels when people go shopping and they love shopping for stuff and they're like, oh yeah, I could buy and use this. Usually I, I look at stuff that I that are, you know, in stores and I'm like, nah, I could go without it. But this stuff, it's like, man, this is a nice little nice little treat, dude. But yeah, so so yeah, what happened was actually I do have the lawnmower and stuff in here. I, did I show it? I might have shown it. Gotten some good use out of this already. And yeah, they did send me the Crop Reviver Ball Toner, <laughs> which is, you know, that's something. It's good. It's just, I, you know, I'm not huge on all these products. Like, like I, I just don't use a lot of products in, in stuff. Like, I don't even use conditioner, dude. But I think if you're someone who's into this stuff, it's great, dude. Because I did, I did try it because I was curious. And it's like, it's great. It's just, it's not really my thing, right? And I, I, the beard oil, I think, is probably more, it's probably more likely I'm going to use it. Feels so good after a shower. It, it does. Like, it's, it's great. It's just, I'm, uh, I don't know, man. I'm very simple, I think. But it is great. Like, it's suddenly great. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try all this other stuff because, yeah, the, the, you know, definitely the per perfect package stuff was pretty high quality. What is the result on this poll, by the way? Did it end? It did end, I think. So 123, so 62% said yes, they have facial hair. 47, 24% uh, said almost. And then 15% said no. So like over half of you guys have facial hair, dude. So yeah, I can recommend it, dude. I mean, I, I guess I haven't tried like a wide variety of of like tools for this stuff and, and different products, like I said, but I don't know, man. Like I said, it's a big upgrade on what I've used before, even if it's limited. And and the products I think are really good. But yeah, and then like especially if you're into this sort of thing, if you're like an enthusiast, because I know there's a lot of beard enthusiasts, which I would be if I had a better beard than I do, probably, but um but yeah, dude. It's probably the, the right stuff for you. And yeah, you do get an insane deal, so. Yeah, lawnmower is, is for face and body, yeah. And I think it's mainly marketed towards body. I guess I can just... Yeah, it's, it's like mainly for body, I guess. And then, yeah, the, the beard is for beard, of course. And then... I, I am curious about this handyman, though, dude. Surely this isn't the thing they sent me. <laughs> but we'll have to wait until next time to see because maybe it was a 
Looks like a beauty, dude. Yeah, no, it looks like it's perfect for just carrying around if you need like a little quick, quick chisel jawline, dude. Yeah, toss in your bag, man. But yeah, no, this bag is great, dude. I've, I've like, I've, this bag is awesome and I've used this plenty of times already. In the past, I, I've only had it for like, I think a month, but I actually kind of underestimated how much I would get use out of like a traveling bag like this. I'm usually not big on traveling. I, I'm usually not like a bag guy, but I just, I don't know. Throw everything in a gym bag or something. But yeah, no, the bag's great. New poll, you guys. Let's see this new poll. Um, Because I, I want to get a, a concrete number. Ever used... Um, I'll just say products. That's a good one, right? I, I don't think there's an in-between answer here. Okay, well, actually, maybe, maybe, maybe there is. I'll say consistently. Yes, consistently. Surely I can spell. A few times. <laughs> okay. The order that I put this in makes no sense also. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm very curious about this one because yeah last time I, I last time we did a sponsor with them people were people were highly recommending it so okay, I'm gonna go ahead and answer no well yeah I yeah okay this this is yeah that's more what I expect but so right now it's seventy six percent no but maybe that's all gonna be changing dude I'm gonna give you guys my recommendation of these and it's gonna be like life changing. Your Grizzly Adams, man. I'm going to go check. I want to see if there's anything else that catches my eye here, too. Because last time, like I said, last time they sent me the perfect package. I was like, oh, this is really good. And then afterwards, I was saying I was going to buy the lawnmower. Or not the lawnmower. I was, gonna, I was saying I was going to buy... Uh... I was going to buy the, the Beard Hedger kit because this is like more kind of up my alley, I think. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy this. And then they, they renewed the sponsor and they're like, yeah, we'll just send you this. I was like, oh, shit, dude. I love when I get stuff for free that I was going to buy. <laughs> so, so, yeah. They sent me this. I'm excited to use it. I've been waiting to open the package on stream. The boxes are nice, dude. I mean, yeah, I guess so. I can recommend them. I don't know, you know, how picky you are with boxers, but they're pretty nice. You got lasers, still didn't get rid of facial hair? Yeah, laser is interesting. I, I, I honestly, I don't know any men that have gotten laser work done personally, but I know a lot of females that have, and it's like sometimes it's not so great. I'm excited to do this, dude. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna come on stream, dude. The beard's gonna be looking insane. Hopefully. Okay, the pull is the pull done? Not done. Okay, poll is sitting at sixty-five percent no, thirteen percent yes. So exactly at a hundred. One hundred votes. Trying to go want your beard gone. Yeah, I don't know. I like laser. I think. I think I've I, the people who have known some of them have gotten it like really expensive. I, I it might just depend on what you pay. I literally know nothing about it. So I just know sometimes it's spotty. But if you pay a lot, then maybe it's better. I, I don't know. Not really something for me. My beard transformation. You know, I don't think I've ever had different facial hair than, than this while streaming. Um. I don't really have any intention of changing it because I just I'm I honestly dude I'm I'm probably too lazy to do anything but but maybe maybe this is all gonna change man like I said this could change everything in a couple of weeks you have used a lot of beer products you'd love to see it dude I yeah me too I guess right I don't know me too 
Maybe we should have put the poll for shorter because I think we got a good idea. Most people just haven't, which I, I, I don't know for you guys, but yeah, for me, it's more just I've never like, I've never thought about it too much. Right? I just, I just have a beer and that's it. You know, I, when I go into the shower, I wash it, I guess. And <laughs> like, that's it. Maybe, maybe trim it. I'll give you the best when I wash my face and wash the beer. That's that's basically it, dude. I haven't tried using beard shampoo. I haven't tried like specifically beard oil or beard. I mean, realistically, I'm not gonna use. I'm excited to try it, but I don't think I'm gonna use beard conditioner consistently because I don't even use normal conditioner consistently, dude. Uh, Spartan, thanks for the two month resub as well. But yeah, out of the people that have used them, I'm curious what. Um, what your experience has been. Oh, put coconut oil. Like, have you, have you noticed? Because somebody the other day was saying they had like a super itchy beard until they started using beard oil and it's like game changing, dude. Bomb in your mustache? I guess that makes sense. You got like the mustache twirl. I would love to have that, dude. That'd be sweet. The insane twirl. But yeah, I guess that's what this beard bomb's for, which I did open. Smells really nice, man. But again, yeah, the, the products are definitely like it's expensive, dude. There's there's no there's no I don't know. It's it's right here. <laughs> like it's clearly pretty expensive, but you are getting what you pay for here, and it's definitely nice to get a nice discount while you can. But you get what you pay for. I guess that's that's kind of the thing, right? And I think something that is, when it comes to your your hygiene and stuff, it's it's worth paying extra for things. In my in my opinion, it's better not kind of like skimp out on stuff because it just, like especially when it comes to sharp stuff around your face, right? So, okay, polls done. Seventy one percent have not. I assume in a week, or you know what? I assume by the next time we do the, a manscape sponsor. Which there will be another one. There's probably going to be another two. Um, then I I think that number is probably going to change. Don't think I understand how much your sister spent on hair hygiene. That is true. That is definitely true. As somebody who is just like a, a shampoo buyer, <laughs> then yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, you get it, it depends on the package, I guess. But I I don't know. Is this is this discount specifically for the beard hedger? I guess I could probably check. No, it's not. But it's not for the handyman, though, I don't I don't think. Unless maybe it's just not showing here because this is I think this is a new product, but Maroon's Razor <laughs> Manscaped Stream. That'd actually be a good uh, funny run to do with the Manscaped sponsor. That is actually a good point. Uh, was there another question that I wanted to poll about? I thought there was. Soap is soap enjoyers. Shampoo is 12 in 1. <laughs> Body, hair, beard, softener, ketchup, glue. Bang, dude. Oh yeah, I was gonna be. I was gonna look for what the next thing I wanted is, because maybe maybe they're gonna hook me up after I say what what it is I want. What is this platinum package though? I assume this is like the big boy. Oh, it's got the weed whacker. So the weed whacker is a, a nose hair trimmer. I don't know if I really have issues with that or care about it, but I don't know, dude. Maybe that's a good question. Do you have like crazy nose hairs, dude? I I I kind of do, but I just I just don't. I don't know, man. I just I'm just a maybe maybe. I guess I'm a slob, dude. Maybe I'm not gonna be after ever. I start using this stuff though. All this beard stuff. Slowly improving. Uh, Mr. Zoom, thanks for the two month resub, dude. You know, now that I think about it, I don't know if it's. I think it's just my mustache. Maybe this. Maybe this stuff will actually help with this, but my nose gets really itchy, dude. Maybe that's why. Like, I assumed it was just my mustache, but it's really itchy right now. Let's go, an Ogre. No, we're not ending the stream. No, no, no. We're, we're going to go for quite a bit longer after this.
But yeah, maybe uh, I, I do already have the lawnmower, though. Waterproof. Shampoo plus conditioner. Body wash. I mean, this would definitely be something I'm interested in. I do have some of this stuff already. I wonder if there's like a reduced version of this for me to buy or for them to send me, you know, if they want any hints. <laughs> Let me see. Performance. Yeah, I guess. Ultra smooth package, dude. Shaving care for down there, you guys. <laughs> Specialized three-step groin shaving kit. Forty-one percent saved on this one. Crop exfoliator, crop gel. Yeah, they have a lot of different products. I think, I think it's you know. I got my hands full right now, but I'll probably check out some more of these if they don't send it to me. That is, like just the just the general stuff too. Like the you know, I I'm a big fan of two in one, even though what I'm using right now is not two in one. It's literally just shampoo, and I just don't use conditioner. Uh, two in one, that sounds good to me. Like I <laughs> usually that's what I do, but I don't know. Hair was getting long. Yeah, I just, I don't think I, it does much for me somehow. I don't know. Never really noticed it. Yeah, two in one I would use, I think. But yeah, aluminum free deodorant. Deodorant, like a lot of this stuff, it's actually, it's just very important to get good stuff, man. I think you really don't want to be using bad stuff on your skin and. I'd be interested in seeing a more detailed ingredient list on there on some some of the uh like other stuff. But yeah, I mean this this got good ingredients in it. At least based on what I, what I can tell. It's all natural ingredients like shea butter and beeswax and stuff. But yeah, if anybody missed it, they they sent me the um the beard grooming kit. Which, again, I was going to buy this on my own, and then they just sent it to me. So, I guess they, I don't know, minus 140 for them, <laughs> sort of, but... Uh, but yeah, you know, we, we checked out the... Um, I kind of moved some stuff. Yeah, they got the Beard Hedger, which is pretty cool. It's got, like, 20 different length settings that's adjustable. Is what they sent me, and I'm excited to try. I'm going to try it out tonight, probably. Although, I don't know. We'll see how long it goes, because I, I kind of like mine a bit longer, but... but... Yeah, so they sent me that. They sent me, you know, we got the beard shampoo, which I've, I've never used any product in my beard before, so it'll be interesting. Beard conditioner, beard oil, and beard balm, dude, so... I, I think I, I could definitely... S the beard bomb, I, I don't, it's, it seems good and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to try it at least, but consistently using this, I don't know. I don't know if that's my style, dude. Anyways, go check it out. You can get 20% off and you also get a free gift, which in this, uh, in this package, you get a beard brush, beard comb, which it's all here. All stuff they sent me. Uh, you get beard scissors too, which is like, that's pretty sweet. And, uh, yeah, dude, 20% off free international shipping, you guys. But for now, we're going to go back to the run. Let me make my cam small. I mean, I'm very interested to try this stuff out, though, dude. I don't think we're also going to be finishing this run today, you guys. This might be a two-parter. Beer bomb, not necessary. Yeah, that's, that's what I would... Uh, I mean, for me... I was saying I'm very, uh, I'm kind of lazy, <laughs> so, so realistically, if there's, I, beard shampoo, yes, I, I, I almost for sure will use, but, third coming, but yeah, I'm kind of like a, you know, minimalist guy, I guess, I don't, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how I feel, I'm definitely at least gonna try though, because I might as well, I already have it, so. 
But yeah, the shampoo and the oil is what I see myself using for sure. Conditioner, I don't think I need that. I think conditioner would be more if... Like, if I had a big beard, dude. Which I would love to have, maybe one day, but... But yeah, I don't think I need that at this point. Okay, what were we doing? We just killed the uh, Draconic Sentinel. And we're gonna go get the Gravel Seal. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, I, I for sure. Okay, yeah, I see that. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's not, you know, beard, uh, maybe, you know, maybe upkeeping you not ever. routines. It's never something I've been interested in too much, or I've never, like, looked into it, at least, but maybe now that I've got all the stuff, I should. Maybe. Although, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, competent. Thanks so much for the three-month prime reset. Welcome back. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure, Macabre. I'm gonna try it out tonight, though. Ever. That's what I'm gonna plan on doing. Uh, Zarbon, thanks for the two-month prime reset as well. For bringing me here and thus. I shall farewell. I shall leave. I wish you. You have. I have. Hey, there's still one more segment of of Manscaped coming you guys soon, but we're gonna do, probably just review everything again, like all the products they've sent, and uh, we do more q and I guess too, more polls. <laughs> I type 2 have a small hitbox? Not as far as I'm aware. Okay, so the gravel seal is next to the dragon wing, is that correct? I don't know if I've ever picked it up. Ah, uh, sounds good, Ogre, dude. It's a miracle I didn't knock my water over and I didn't have the cap on it. I'm gonna kill this avatar just because I can. Get some extra, extra runes. Archer. Okay, yeah. No, that's... Yeah, that's what I remember, I guess. Surely I'm not going to get smushed by him. Uh, P45. I appreciate that, dude. Man, this frozen lightning spear. Good thing we picked this up. Oh, oh my god! Look how much damage that's dealing. I guess lightning maybe isn't bad against these enemies. But yeah, on the big enemies, it it's like a it's like a the child of ancient dragon lightning spear or something. Just hits a bunch of times. Probably pretty good on Rikard, right? To set up, we can set up our ancient dragon lightning spear with frozen lightning spear, maybe. More faith. I'm gonna get. Probably gonna want to upgrade, so I'll save a few runes, but 62 faith. But we're at. All right, this. Hopefully, this won't suck. To get this, I'm gonna try to take them out strategically. This was a huge mistake. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Does the archer over there, right? Just want to fight him in a spot where I'm not going to get destroyed by somebody else. Nice. Here we go. 
This is a somber six down here. Might as well get. I should go get the actual the, the five um five that's just outside here. I should probably go get some incantations. I want to see. I would like to see more black flames. I would, I would love to see a black flame version of Catch Flame, like the other games have, or I guess Dark Souls Three has. Does DS One have? Yeah, DS1 has Black Flame, right? I'd love to see that. Okay. Yeah, in the DLC. Yeah, so uh, who knows? Maybe we get Wrath of Gold. Goodbye. Oh, it's not this guy. Am I in the right area here? This is where it is, right? Somewhere here? Is it this guy? What are my stats? 77 faith. <laughs> That's what we're at. Oh. Down. Like in the sewer section? Yeah, clearly I don't know where this is. Oh, dude, people even said it was next to the fake round table. What am I even doing? Okay, well, we got some more runes, I guess. Yeah, people even told me that, but I, I actually just forgot. Yeah, the coded sword, I, I guess, I, I wouldn't mind using it, but I just, there's so many different setups I want to try here that I don't know if we're going to have, uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough bosses to kill, basically, or enough regions to go through. Oh, where, where is coded sword, though? I don't remember. I probably wouldn't have died from that, but I just I didn't wanna didn't wanna risk that. Oh, it is in the round table. Okay. I'll open it up then. Or well, I guess I don't have to open it up. We'll go in there. Anything else in Lane Dell to grab? I guess going down to the sewer. I don't I don't know if um the seal is a plus. Is it? Oh. Virtual shield shield's a good call. Is it one of these knights or is it somebody else? Oh, it is smithing stone. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah, I don't remember where the coded sword is. Uh, one second, you guys. Okay. Let's go. Let's go try to kill these guys here. I've definitely, I've definitely gotten this before. It's just. Been a while. Yeah, I'm activating the cheats, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was doing. Please don't jab me. And that guy's going crazy, dude. We should be out of range, I think.
These enemies are kind of cool, man. Maybe, maybe. Nice. I'll give you the best nut ever. Pretty decent for you. Oh yeah, I, I remember party. Ogre for sure, dude. I remember. Okay, this guy, <laughs> this guy's so annoying, dude. Uh, Sandster, thanks for the um, two month prime resub. Thanks so much. Welcome back. I think I can. I don't think this has enough. Ra oh my goodness! It works, but <laughs> it's scary. Sort oh of works. God, oh, dude. dude that's <laughs> Ogre, so thank you so much for the, uh, the 10 gifted so subs. Make sure you got a sub. Make sure you thank Ogre it. for that. Oh, my God. The legend, dude. This is sort of slowly working. Yeah, thanks so much again, Ogre. Oh. Oh, my God. What do I do? I gotta go bonk him. Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. I don't have a starlight shard. I don't I don't have anything. Got this did I get Oh my dude he How did I not notice? Okay, well, never mind. I didn't realize I got it. Yeah, thanks so much again, Ogre. I appreciate that, dude. Now, do I... Okay, wait a second. Let me just test something. I'm fairly certain it works this way, but... So, damage without it. 560. Yeah, we, we can get the Coded Sword eventually. I'm, I'm not in any rush to use it. 560. And... 644, yeah. So we, we just go like this. I, I don't think it's much better than the God Slayer Shield at this point. So we'll just stick with this. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much, Ogre. Thanks, dude. Um, Should we level up more? I was actually saving all these runes to upgrade that seal, but I don't think there's any point. Is this lightning considered dragon cult? It is, yeah. All these, all these lightning is, all these lightning spells are dragon cult incantations. But we're gonna do, we're gonna do kind of two separate waves of them. So we're gonna, we're gonna use a similar setup later, I think. Uh, famous potato, welcome in, dude. Never seen someone use coded sword. I honestly haven't either. So we're gonna try it. Ritual shield, if, I, if I'm if i feeling scared, I think I'll go get that. Might as well kill these enemies. Oh. Maybe not. I don't want to waste all my blue. Yeah, we grabbed some black flame. Uh, we're going to use that, I think. When are we going to use that? I'm not sure. At some point. Whenever I get access to black flame ritual, which you get from... Where do you get that from again? I don't know. This should be strong here. Yeah, the snail. Yeah, yeah, snail. Yeah, very strong. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> the guy who... The, the guy who commented the cheat. Got a whippersnipper in the back. The guy who commented the cheats is going to be fuming on this one, dude. <laughs> He's going to be like, I told you guys. Wow, this is some nice damage, though, dude. Oh, and I guess we're going to see it again. Yeah, the green screen whippersnipper. I simply only got hit there to prove that I was not cheating. 
That's why. Clearly. Please don't crash game. Okay. Yeah, this is I this is honestly probably where I'd expect this to be the strongest, because Gold Free is weak to lightning. I think he's weak to it. So it's definitely decent. I do want to try the uh frozen lightning spear on him though. 1100 damage, it's not bad. And yeah, he won't even dash forward on this because he's not, he can't input read it, so. Just run away, blast him. I would like to try this. Follow up. Don't dash, please. Wow, look at that damage, dude. Dang. See, that's pretty good. What was that? 2,200 damage in one hit? Well, one cast, that is. Not bad. Yeah, who knew Frozen Lightning was so good? I guess probably all the people who told me to get it. All right, we continue leveling Faith as we do. Yeah, over 2,200 damage. He is weak to Lightning, though. He's weak to lightning. I think the only tricky part about the spell is that it's kind of slow. Was it one person in particular, really? <laughs> okay, well, whoever that was is going to get a shout out in the video, apparently. Lansax Glaive? Really? Yeah, we're going to try it out for sure. Once we go through... Um in Volcano Manor, we'll try it out, and Gelmir and stuff. So we'll pick up this uh, incantation here. Why not? Oh yeah, we have another slot, so... Not really sure... What's better now. It's also the lightning spear. Glaive is, is it bad or is it not bad? Because I, I don't know. Some people were saying frozen lightning spear is bad, but looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I think I think in that when that clip goes in the video, Hunter needs to show that comment, that paragraph. Uh oh. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. Surely I have another... Oh man, I don't even know if I have enough runes. How much is this? They're 3k each, right? But actually, what's nice about this build is I really don't need the... Uh, Godric's rune active on this. Oh, it's it's fine. I don't I don't need it, dude. I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, we got destroyed. That was not so nice. I guess the damage will go down slightly, but not really. More the FP, actually. Let's go on uh, Mayed. Objective. So we're we're leveling only faith. So we're at 81 faith. Uh, we are also doing a region lock, meaning we can't leave a region until we kill the main boss of the area. We are also doing 843. I'm not sure why my brain just stopped working there and I forgot the timing of the roll on that. I don't know why I tried to jump that either. Um, yeah, in each region, I like to use a different build. Just so that it... it Keeps the run interesting. I gotta figure out a spot to use Frozen Lightning. Right there probably would have worked. Oh.
Actually, it was fast enough. That's surprising. Wait, did did both of the frozen lightning spears hit there? I don't know. I'm gonna cast another one. Nice, dude. Oh. Look at that damage increase. I wanna try charged. Charge. 1500, that's not bad at all. Oh! How did that happen? Nice camera. Yeah, we when we deal even more damage in phase two, I believe. Yeah, look at that lightning resist there. It when when Morgoth phase two happens, the um blood or whatever on the ground, whatever it's called. Counts as water, so you deal even more damage with lightning. Pretty good, dude. It just the 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 speed of frozen lightning spear had some issues there. Alright, well this region is done. I don't think I guess, is Morgoth's weapon act uh, a faith, faith scaling weapon? I think so. Maybe? I think it's got some fire damage, but... Yeah, the toilet water. I forgot what... Oh, oh arcane. That's right. Allow me okay, never mind. Prevented the thorns. Actually, didn't I, did I use that on the arcane run? So I'd like to the flame Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Guide you. Why didn't I bait out jump? I didn't really think about it. <laughs> this is why, I guess. Let my share them. Okay, so now we have a lot of options. I think... I think I want to go to Kaelid on this one. And I would love to use the dragon incantations there. Dragon communion, maybe? Let me see. Here's the list again. I guess, actually, there's still... We still want to kill the Crucible Knight boss. That's one thing we still want to do. Um, and then... You know, maybe I should have gone with the, uh... Dragon Communion Seal. That's the one you get down here, right? Because then, we can get that to plus nine. Right now. Let's go do it. Let's go get it. That is a good point that some of them require arcane. Let me see how much arcane, though, because it's not a lot for most of them, I think, right? 15 arcane. How much arcane do we have on this class? We have 10. So, yeah, we can reach that. Dragon Call 13, Dragonfire 12. Yeah, most of them are, are pretty low. I thought I bought a bunch earlier, but not enough. But yeah, we should we should be fine to use those. We're gonna go into Kalid. I think we're gonna, gonna go into Kalid, and Kalid is where. Or do I use Black Flame in Kalid? I think Black Flame makes a lot of sense in Kalid because. We can kill Grail with it. Who's this person? I actually have no idea. I, I, I basically haven't added any of those emotes, so I don't know. Yeah, Black Flame or Crucible, but I think Crucible's... Crucible is later because we're missing one of the spells for it, so... Whoops, I went to the wrong one. I think we're going to go Black Flame here, you guys. I think it makes sense. Um, But we're missing... Here's what we can do. We can go kill Fire Giant with something. I don't know what. And then get Black Flame Ritual and then go to Kaled. Maybe. I don't want to know. Really? Who, who is it now? You can't say that and then not expect somebody to not want to know. 
One thing is, I, I actually didn't realize this until, I think, last... What run did we do where I had to pick up the seal? I didn't actually realize that you can just fast travel out of this area. I thought it was like every other every other dungeon where you just couldn't fast travel, but you can always fast travel out of here. I had no idea. Maybe they were trying to be nice to first playthrough people and, and be like, oh yeah, you can leave if you want. You got stuck here in your first playthrough like I did. The very first thing I did, I started with the stone sword keys because I was, you know, I played DS2, obviously, and I, I was thinking I wanted to make sure I had the key item early in the game. I was, I was that guy so dumb. I wanted to make sure I had the key item early in the game. And do you think I can just outrun him? The answer to that is probably always no. I'm going to try it. But anyways, so yeah, I started with the stones or keys. I didn't want to get locked out of anywhere early, and I basically came into this dungeon right away and got destroyed by the chariot, dude. At least I think I did. That's what I remember. I think a lot of the stuff I remember about my first playthrough is probably wrong. I did, what I remember is coming in here early with Catch Flame, maybe. I think I was using Catch Flame. Dragon Communion Seal. There we go. So let's go... I just realized I was using the wrong spell right there. Whoops. <laughs> I was meant to use the dagger in this region, but that's okay. Let's go to the Avenue Balcony. Uh, the game isn't lagging, I don't think. Might be the stream, I guess. Yeah, never died in a soul stream. Surely. Or not in a Souls game, I mean. Not like I've died 20 times today. <laughs> Another rune arc here as well. First lockstone. Yeah, I think it's probably more like the branches, though. But maybe it is more like the lockstones, because you kind of don't... really need it. Dude, I... You guys will not believe what I did, dude. <laughs> I was- I was just like- I was moving around. I- I literally kicked the 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 power button on my PC. <laughs> so whoops. Never done that before. <laughs> I was I, I was just moving and I I just I booted it, dude. Pun intended. So actually let me restart the music. Alright, I I, I I click the uh the restart button on my PC, and so it started closing everything, <laughs> and then I did stop it before it actually shut down, but professional streamer, by the way. Okay, well, anyways, nothing happened. Oh, except it totally reset my OBS, or reset where the timer is. Man, I, I've, n in my, I don't know how long I've been streaming for. In my, uh, Almost six years of streaming. I've never done that <laughs> before, dude. Just shut down PC midstream. Actual rage quit. That's insane. Okay, hopefully that's good. People are going to be wondering, oh, why did the timer get bigger? I'm pretty sure it got bigger. Okay, anyways, back to normal business. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's probably never maybe happened best, <laughs> to anybody ever. in the in the history of this site. Accidental restart PC midstream. Maybe, maybe. Um, best, so ever. sexy guy. Thanks for the brand new prime sub and Drewski. Thanks for the six month prime sub as well. Actual unplugged PC moment. Yeah, okay, we're getting the somber seven. 
and eight. Man, this is this is such a good spell. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Look at that. Ever. You just totally cheese him. Never knew. Oh, Aggie's cat. <laughs> well, that's you know what. Having your cat disconnect your something, your stream or whatever is honestly, honestly better than what I just did. Egg Savior, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks, Egg. Somber Seven. Might as well get another one. I maybe. I want to get the shackle for for something. I was thinking of something. One of the shackle. Exact thing happened to Germa. Where? What? He shut down his PC midstream. You know, this isn't gonna. Oh. Yeah, that was just totally the wrong spell. That spell is so slow, it's unreal. It's so slow. And that's that's with Radagon's icon, dude. That spell is terrible. So just get rid of that. Maybe there's there's probably a circumstance where it's good, but I haven't seen it. Man, that's crazy. I wonder if I can. Oh, that just hit him, right? Why Michael Zaki didn't drop the DLC yet? That is a great question I, that I don't know the answer to. Yeah, gotta love the sniper lobsters. Across the map. Trick shot lobsters. You think this has enough range for... I mean, no way. What? Oh my god, that's so much range. There's one point at which I learned this move set. But I'm not super confident. Oh, dude, the damage of this thing. Underrated frozen lightning spear, man. Okay, shackles good. I can't remember where I was going to use the shackle, though. There was somewhere. Oh, oh, yeah. It was for the dungeon here. Let's go here. Anything hit for 1k plus with 70 faith? I guess so. But Lightning Spear isn't. I think this is just so strong because you... You, um, you just hit twice with it. Or, or numerous times. If you're, if you're fighting against big enemies, it just hits numerous times. It's got a hitbox when you slam into the ground, which is also really good. Yeah, this is great. I almost didn't get this incantation, too. That's the funny part. But to be fair, yeah, our setup is, isn't terrible, but we're only plus 12 right now. Plus 12. We're not getting any boost out of Godfrey Icon with Frozen Lightning Spear because it's not chargeable. Um, our setup isn't bad for sure. It's not bad. But we're not even using Golden Vow, nor are we using Howl. So... And yeah, water did increase the damage, that's true. <laughs> Me and my chair turning off PC. Yeah, I've never done that. And you guys don't even understand how small the restart button on, on my PC is, too. And it was my streaming PC, by the way. It's so small. I don't even understand how that was possible, but... 
I managed to do it. I, I don't know how. I, I my It must have been... I think it was my... My middle toe got it. Nicked it. Oh, you know what? I just... I was gonna go upgrade this, but I forgot. You know, that's actually a big mistake. Well, let's clear the dungeon first, and we'll go upgrade, because that's gonna be a lot stronger than what I've got right now. We're only plus 12, dude. Shackle? Shackle? I'm gonna get madness. Or whatever you call it. Maybe I won't. I've got good resistance, I guess, because I have so much faith or something. I'm gonna... We're, let's get out of here. The shackle cheese. For anyone who's not aware, the shackle moves... There's a light pillar in this dungeon that is meant to... You're supposed to move it in order to spawn another chariot that breaks the other ones, but the shackle has crazy range and it just moves it whenever you use it, so. Makes this dungeon very simple. But yeah, the shackle, I, I, carrying around a shackle is useful in almost any catacomb because you can move the pillars and simply make the dungeon easy. It is definitely not intended, but they haven't patched it yet. I think it's sort of just a cool little thing. I'm sure they know about it, but it's not something they bothered patching out. I would be pretty upset if they patched it out, honestly. Very useful. Oh, I guess... It, wait, is there a somber 8 in the sewers? Because I was just thinking I was going to go to Kaled and get the 8 and 9, but... This first things first. Let's go get this five. Is there? There's not a sombra in the sewer. There's smithing eights. Yeah, I'm sure they. I mean, they've got more important stuff to worry about than something like that. Especially, it's not. You know, it's not hurting anybody. It's not some crazy glitch. Just a just a useful thing. Oh, there is this. Uh, there's a somber aid in the sewer. Yeah, both shackles are the same for that purpose. I guess I should go get that then. I'm such a huge fan of the spell. I'm going to be upset when I stop using it. Okay, let's go down the sewer. Good thing I got the grace down there. On the ground roadside. Maybe is it is it the one next to the shortcut? Ever. Hello. Vindrax, thanks for the four month prime resub. Thanks so much. The one behind that shortcut? I'm gonna try fighting these guys, because why not? Wow, you have a lot of health. I'm dead. Just kidding. Love jumping over that attack. Frostbite and death. These guys have a lot of health too. That's pretty decent. That kills kills them so quickly. Yeah, we'll we'll upgrade as soon as I get the somber eight. Oh, dude, of course, it's right... Oh, it's right where the guy drops down. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, we'll fight Millennia on this. Likely not today, though. Because with the sponsor and stuff, things have... I mean, this is also going to be one of the longer stat-only runs, I think. At least compared to the other two. Because there's so many more options for setup. But... But yeah, this will have to be... We'll have to finish it another, another day for sure. Might as well go get the shortcut in case I want to come back here for- Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, and now I just lost 165k. 
Oh, bot died? Okay, let me fix that. Yeah, I forgot. There's a probably a bunch of stuff that closed that is important. Yeah, I run the bot on my other PC, so that would make sense. How do I keep dying so much, man? I, I don't know if I've died this much on any of the other runs. By this one. Well, it's, it, because we're doing region lock, and I would like to go to Fire Giant next. And so, because of the rules of region lock, I can't just go into Kalid and not kill Redan in there. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's because the teens are off. You're right. That's why I'm dying. The cheats are making me make stupid decisions. Of course. Nope. You know what? No, nope. I'm not dealing with it. I'm getting out of here. I could have sworn that's what I used to do on all remembrances no hit though. I guess because I moved. Okay. If I'm fast enough, I should be able to... Here we go. Uh, God Run 3 is going pretty well. I made it to game 4 last attempt. And I got hit in Demon Souls, and, and that, you know, it was just a hit that I didn't know about. That's it. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about God Run 3 at this point. Gambit required? It's actually not required, because the first All Remembrances run I did, I didn't use Assassin's Gambit on it. As long as you don't move there, then it's fine. Uh, okay, so... Maybe, maybe the seal's horrible. I'll give you the best nut ever. <laughs> I kind of forgot it was an arcane seal. Is it even going to be better? After all that? Liam Gonti, thanks for the three-month resub. Thanks, Liam. Yeah, it's probably not even better, honestly. A plus nine versus plus 12. I don't think it's worth it. Let's just wait until we get Erdtree. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. We got that summary for later, I guess. Okay, so we finished all this. We're going to be going into... Let's go talk to Muriel. So I guess I never visited that... Um... What's his name? The guy at Round Table? If I'm changing the dragon, I, I I think even if I change the dragon, it's probably still worse. I could put an offhand though, which I will when we use them. Yeah, I don't remember his name. I don't know the names of people in this game. Yeah, Corin. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. And now I have no spells, so I can't fight anything. Oh, how delightful I've been doing. And will happen. I'm yet to find. I suppose the path ahead might since depart. I don't think I've ever actually moved him here before. So he gives you great heal. Is that the only difference here? Uh, Aizen, thanks so much for the, the raid. How was your stream? I don't really think I need that. That's good to know. I guess I've never moved him like that. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, let's go to Muriel. He'll move and unlock more incants. If I if I talk to Gold Mask, oh okay, I guess I can do that. Black Flame. I guess we're only gonna. Oh no no no! Sorry, we're going into Mountain Tops, which I don't think we decided on a build yet for Mountain Tops. What to do? How's it going, Lucy? Welcome back. I don't think we decided on a build in Mountain Tops, and I, I didn't want to go to Kaled because I want to use Black Flame in Kaled, and we don't have Black Flame Ritual yet, unless we go to Mountain Tops. So, what does that mean, then?
I don't know what that means. So fire giant, we don't really want to use holy. We don't really want to use fire. Oh yeah, crucible knight as well. I'm getting so mixed up <laughs> with how much stuff we're trying to do. Um, I I kind of wanted to use the beast stuff on him, but if we don't go to Kayla, then we can't get that stuff. So. Yeah, Pestreads also requires Caleb, though. So maybe it makes more sense for me to go to Caleb, then. It's just we're missing out on Black Flame Ritual, which I would like to use on Redan. So we, we have an, an, an issue here. No, pesticides you buy from the merchant that's uh, associated with the Millicent quest. Yeah, Gowry. Maybe, yeah, pesticides is really strong. Like, it's, it's insane on big bosses. Uh, Camo Killers, thanks for the brand new prime sub. What is this item here? I really don't understand this guy. Okay. No, we haven't used Frenzy. Yeah, we could use Frenzy for, for Fire Giant. It's just Fire's not great. Lord time about Gold Mask. <laughs> um... I don't know, man. Gold Mask is a guy who, when when he was younger and he would eat at the at the supper table with his parents, uh, he he one time he accidentally he finished his milk before eating his meal, which his parents really didn't like. And so what they did is they they made him put the plate up to his face and and hold it like that, and then he just started getting addicted to it, and then eventually. He got a mask made for himself and just basically became a nomad to try to find the meaning of life. And he got led to the Erdtree. And that's what happened. That's it. Okay, where does this guy move now? Does he move to Gold Mask? I, I don't know where he goes now. But yeah, so that's basically what happened. To gold mask, okay. That makes sense. I tell him where gold mask is, and then he moves there. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah. Uh, Leah, thanks for the five-month resub. I appreciate that. <laughs> yes, one hour Vati documentary on <laughs> what I just said. Now what happens? But yeah, dude. He's got a plate taped to his face. That's what it is. Ah, thanks to you and taking my place. Have no fear. I will though we must do so quietly. Discus of light. Is this even good? Anyways, I'm not gonna get it yet. It requires intelligence. Further study of I guess indeed, I we can get it. We can get it before we go into Farmazula. Um, is it really insane? Actually, no, it's not. Further, indeed, that's a joke, right? Okay, I'll buy it then. We have a lot of runes, anyways. May the God and so does at some further, point indeed, does. I Corrin start to sell more? Like the triple? How does that work? May the gold. Anyways, maybe eventually we'll use that. I don't know when. Um, let's figure out a build for Fire Giant. Or, or should we go to Caleb? Which one? Do we sacrifice Ritual or do we... Do we use Beast Incantations on Fire Giant?
I don't know. Ritual for... Well, I think for... I, well, I don't know what we're going to use in the Ashen Capital yet. I am not certain of that. Well, so I'm, I'm waiting to go to Gelmir until we beat Farmazula, uh, because then we get Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. Yeah, I know Ritual's not great, but I just, I want to use it because there's only one other Black Flame damaging thing. What are, what are the other options for Fire Giant? Let me check. So Dragon Communion, we're going to wait on, I think. Not sure where we're going to use Dragon Communion. So the, the dragon, the second phase of the Dragon Cult, we're going to use in Gelmir. Oh, we can go with a Crucible Knight build for Fire Giant, maybe? It's just, we won't have, we won't have this, but you know what? That's okay. I don't, uh, is, the thing is, there's only three of these spells, so I feel like I should do it properly. At least try it. Dragon Maw? That's true, it wouldn't be bad. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Blood? That's, again, these are too late. Like, blood, Swarm of Flies is later. Blood Boon, is that from... That's Is that from Moog? We can't use these because you got to get to Kaled first. Fire Monk? Frenzy? I, This is tough, dude. I think we could maybe use Frenzy in... Frenzy might be good for once we get to um, Ashton Capital, possibly. Where do you get Dragon Maw from? And then I would like to use Grail's Roar, though, on Fire Giant, but we couldn't. And then also, if we're going to go Dragon Communion, we got to get Rot Breath at least, which I can't because it's in Caelid. Coated Blade. Yeah, we could just go with a melee weapon. It's not a bad call, actually. Yeah, we can just go with a melee weapon, dude. That's probably easier. Which is that uh, there's the best would be physical against fire maybe, giant, but maybe. physical is in Kaled. I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, here's you, let's go to Kaled, dude. Fuck it, we're going to Kaled. We are going to Kaled. Simon, thanks for the sixty month prime sub. And yeah, I guess we can use the black knife in Kaled as well, but nah, I'd rather just stick to black flame. I think we we could. We'll use both. We're going to Caleb. Black Flame. That's it. Black Flame. I guess I can get this too, maybe. What is this? It requires me to get some more decks, so I could swap to... Just for now. Do we use the black knife here? Save, but I, I wouldn't save it for anything. Now we'll go, we'll go with, with black knife too. Yep. That's what we'll do. Great. I don't know how highly to upgrade it though. I, I feel like plus eight is a lot. 
Maybe plus six. I'm really only caring about the damage over time anyway, so. Perfect for endgame bosses. I mean, I guess. I, I think I... I didn't I already decide what I'm going to use in Farmazula? I thought I was going to use something there. I don't remember. I, I, we could save Black Flame. I just I think it's a bit boring for those later bosses, though. Sure, it's, it's decent on them, but... I don't think Black Flame on Malakhev makes sense. But yeah, on the later bosses, it does make sense, I guess. It's okay. We're going in. We're going into Kaled. Oh, I said I was going to use Madness in... Uh... I said I was going to use Madness, I think. In Ashen Capital. Where's the invasion? Yeah, this run's, I, I, this run's been the most tricky to figure out what to use. I, I think just because there's so many options. Of course, you dodged that. Here I am trying to get on my horse. Um, Let's just cheese, I guess. Use Madness and Kaelid? I mean, we can. I just kind of wanted to grab Gideon, though. I think that would have been funny. I guess, we, yeah, we can. Yeah, maybe we should do a poll on it. We. Oh, I didn't grab... Dude, <laughs> I didn't grab the grace. Yeah, we, we can go madness. We certainly can. Go get frenzied burst, burst and howl and stuff. That's gonna be miserable on fire giant though. Black flame would definitely be easier, or not fire giant on uh, on Redan, I think. Triple ring on Gideon. That's actually a good point. Beast incants for farm Azula. That would be rough, I think. <laughs> this is so tough. How is this so tricky to figure out what the hell to use? It's insane. We can use beast incantations on fire giant. Maybe. I think that makes sense. Because it's physical damage. It'll be good on him. We'll go Madness. We'll just do it. We gotta just pick something at this point, because there's there's too many options. Uh, and then, one option... Uh, you know what's actually gonna be... One thing that could be cool for... Farmazula is using... I should have cleared out the tower. We use the Wing Scythe here, I believe. One thing that could be cool for Farmazula is using the Dragon Communion spells then. Because we can start to use Rot Breath and stuff, and then also we can use Placidus X Ruin on, or try to use it on uh, Malaketh, maybe. That's what we'll do. Okay, I think we got it all routed out, you guys. Surely I won't die to a rat. Okay, Frenzy Burst. When am I going to be able to fast travel out of here? Let's go on to Sushi. 
Might be fast for me to just go get a grace or something. Maybe, maybe. I'll give you the maybe best I should plan all ever. the builds out before yeah. we do the run <laughs> because <clears throat> we kind of waste a lot of time trying to figure out what build to do. Mad King, thanks so much for the 13-month resub. Welcome back. Any other frenzy spell to grab? Let me check. Because there's, there's some other ones, but I'm not... This has been the tough part about this run, I think, is I want to use... You know, say we want to use the frenzy flame incantations, right? There's Howl, Inescapable Frenzy... Which I actually could get, but there's no enemy to use it on. And then an un Unendurable Frenzy is the one that's in Snowfield. So I can only really use two offensive ones, right? Frame of Frenzy and Frenzy Burst. And so I'm kind of like missing out on part of the, in the, the, I guess the category spells. I am Canadian uh, as, yeah. Anyways, Frenzy Burst is kind of the main one, I think. And we can try to use uh, Flame of Frenzy, maybe, on the boss. So, might not be so bad. Get the seal. Dude, what is that? <laughs> what is that emote? Is there a Madness seal? I guess so. Frenzied Flame Seal. Where's that now? Where is that? I somehow forgot that this existed even. End of... Oh, that, this is why I forgot. Hiatus, at the end of Hyatt's quest line. Are we really doing that? Is it... Wait. Gotta follow the guide, man. Okay, asking Arena, Shaburi Grapes. How many grapes are there to give? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I want to do this. Lane Dell. But we can do it though, right? We have access to all the areas. So we have to talk to the girl over here. We might as well do it because maybe, I've actually maybe. never done this before, so I'll give you the best nut might ever. as well. Yeah. We might as well. Reese, thanks so much for the 15 month prime resub. Thanks so much. But, yeah, this run's going to be a lot longer than all the other ones were. That's for sure. Rip. I'm sure there's a faster way to get here. Sub gif? Uh, there's, I think there's numerous, but probably... I don't know. There's a there's a few things. One of them was when I reposted. Maybe, maybe I was fighting Godskin Duo, and ever. this one, <laughs> this one was when I reposted. I I, I stunned Noble, and I went for the repost. Maybe, I'm sure there's maybe. a clip somewhere. I'll give you the best. I, I went ever. to repost Noble, but I repost the ap Apostle who was sleeping instead. A total 180. Yeah, I guess it's that one. I don't know what the other one's from. I can't remember what it even is. Brain Rod, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. And Josh Walker, thanks for the brand new sub as well. But yeah, that clip is what it's from. A 
hello? So I, I just have to talk to her here, right? That's it? Do I have to do anything else? Do I have to go to Castle Morn? Oh. Oh, I actually have to go to Castle Morn here? No Morn, really? She just needs to die? Is this true? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Let's just try quitting out. Try reloading. Here, I guess we can watch the clip. As I'm waiting for my game to load. The wrong guy. The wrong guy. <laughs> That's so stupid, guy. dude. Oh, wait, you guys can't see me now. You guys couldn't see it at all. One second. Here we go. The wrong guy. <laughs> it's so dumb. Just complete wrong guy. Game of the year, by the way. Game of the year. The wrong guy. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay. Back in we go. Oh, yep. Yeah. She's been brutally murdered. She's dead. Okay. She's somewhere in here, right? Is she not out here? Oh, she... Let me just check where I remember her. I remember her being somewhere over here, but I, I guess it's not right. Dang, all this stuff I haven't done since my first playthrough. So we go here. But yeah, I've, I've never actually done this quest line before, so... So she's somewhere over around here? Oh. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to my eyesight has been weak since birth, you see? But when I eat... When I, I guess I've never thought about how weird this is that... She dies and then is just here. In the back of my eyes. It would Hello? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage and when I eat one of Okay. Uh so first grape is in Stormvale. Okay, yeah, I know where that is for sure. I know where that one is. There's the first one. Should I go get them all first, or... I guess so, right? Alright, where's the second one? Yeah, I, I, I realized she, she changed names on, on the first playthrough, but I didn't, I didn't really think much of it somehow. Or maybe I thought it was somebody else. Okay, next to Faith Talisman. And then... Oh, give it to her first? Oh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. I guess they're all... Are they all kind of next to where she is? Revenger Shack. Hello? Would you donate? I'm on a pill and when I eat... Uh, which one is that again? Now I can... You are most kind. May the blessing. Okay. You are the blessing. We are going to do a playthrough very soon, you guys. Especially, um... Especially when there's a concrete date for the DLC. Where we're gonna do a uh, basically my second full casual playthrough of the game. I'm gonna try to do every single quest line. 
I'm gonna basically just get a character set up for the DLC while doing all the stuff that I just have never done in this game, probably. So, we're gonna do that eventually. Second grape. And she's somewhere here. I mean, is this the right building or? Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, would you donate to me? I'm on a pill, and when I eat, you're not like rest there. How It'd be so hard to to you? beat these quests the without person. any outside help, man. Revenger. DLC entrances in capital. It might be. South of Balls? Really? There's something over here? Okay. I don't remember stuff being here, but... Okay. I guess in this whole mess over here? And then, what's the last item I need? You're burning a down getting locked out. No, I don't think they would do that. No way. Oh. Edgar. I don't even know if I've been here before. Dumpling, dumpling. Oh. Dang, bro. Nice poise. Or it's actually hyper armor. Hey, Art, this, uh... Oh my god, your spacing is immaculate. Maybe just... Okay, well, I guess it doesn't... Pre oh, wait, it did prevent... Or was that... That was Golden Vow. I like this Ash of War for uh, NPCs, man. There's the other one. And now, is, is Hyatta somewhere around here, or...? Yeah, we got the grape. A gate, town, bridge, grace. I don't... Which part of the bridge is she at? Like over here? Somewhere here? Uh, we'll go from here, I guess. It's interesting. Oh, we're doing our quest line to get the frenzied flame seal, which I've never gotten before. That's why that's why I don't know. <laughs> that's why I don't know anything about this. I didn't even know the Revenger Shack was a thing, dude, somehow. I don't think I've ever been there. I glare in monitors. Actually, not as bad as you would think, but sometimes in the morning, it's not ideal. Going for gold mask ending. I guess I might as well, right? I've never actually done that ending before, so. Elm Church. Have to kill Vike? Okay. Dang. Okay, that's fine. It's going to be a long run, though. So she's somewhere here. Hello, would you donate them on a pilgrim when I eat? Oh, now I can set aside. Delectably put aside them. <clears throat> Not all of those people. There was, those noises I heard were. <clears throat> Sorry, don't mind me. I told them their eyes. I'll Hopefully, surely it doesn't break the quest. <laughs> I'll be fine. Okay, and then we gotta go kill Vike now. Oh, 
Oh, did I actually mess up? Okay. <laughs> These finicky quest lines. Was she eating those eyes or something, dude? I've gleaned something very the reason why it was eyes I had to eat to distant light is far. Yeah, I, I did hear the puking. So faint but with everyone's finally. I'm certain now. That's nice. I've gleaned something I'm certain now. Okay. And now we're good, right? Presumably. I guess I could just rest to make sure. I assume she moves somewhere. Alright, back to Frenzy Flame Village. I really should have taken out the The tower. Huge mistake. I guess I could still go do it. Maybe it's okay, actually. I'm too lazy. How's it going, Pabs? Okay, we got one more segment of Manscaped coming up. And, wow, we've only made it through three regions in four hours, man. It's interesting. Not ideal. Estering Vike. Oh, you, you're such a bastard. Where's my hyper armor? Very, uh, very good we used that, we used this scythe in this region, because this probably would have been a huge pain if I didn't. Okay, we can go with this. Okay. Uh, Mesna, I appreciate that. Have you ever heard of fingerprint grapes? They're special grapes which only grow on I would truly love the distant lights, but I can't sense a thing from the usual grapes. Without one, I'd... Oh, a fingerprint grape. I guess this quest actually wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. I thought you had to do a lot more running around than this. Thank you. May the blessing of the thing. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be a thing. Okay. Oh. When do I get the item? Oh, she goes down below Mo. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well. Ah, I guess we're going to Moog. Just when I, I had to say something, dude. I had to say, I was like, oh yeah, it's not that bad. Nope. Yeah, I actually spoke too soon. Okay, so we're going back to our other incantations here. Beloved frozen lightning spear. Wait, does the gold mask ending, does it, does it get ruined when you talk to the fingers or something? I mean, I guess, is there anything I can do, or... I guess the ending doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, you can you can cure it, right? Oh. Gotta do the big other quest line. At least that's a quest line I know a bit better. Actual 25-hour run coming up.
Rip Hunter, dude. <laughs> it's gonna have to edit this. Oh, hello there. Yeah, you gotta kill late girls on <laughs> on this. Yeah, that's true. Oh man, I haven't fought late girls in a long time. Um, do I remember the setup for this is the question. I haven't done this in a long time either. Do I normally... Why is my mouse sensitivity so insanely low? Yeah, I don't remember this. A lot of these skips that I just, you know, when I was doing the no hit runs, I remember how to do them, but there we go. And I had all these good setups for them, but now I just forget them. Manscaped have girl stuff? Well, it's not really marketed to that, as, <laughs> as is obvious, but I guess I don't see why not, right? You can use whatever you want. More faith, though, at least. Uh, unless I should maybe save... I'll sa Maybe I'll save a couple thousand. Unfortunately, our frostbite is not going to be working here, so. How many free faith? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of faith. That's the whole point of this run, is, is we're going only faith. So we're actually, with the bus, we're at 88 faith. It shouldn't be too bad, though. Probably play him kind of ranged as well with this. Oh, wow, almost devastating pivot. I want to try to use some frozen lightning spear on him. Oh, why did I do that? I just, I didn't, I'm not using my brain, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just like, oh yeah, let me just wait until I got a strafe underneath this attack. To use this attack while I jump in the air. I, we're going to use Dragon Maw, Mad King, I think, on... Uh, like, so what I've been doing for these runs is... I use one build per region. Just so that we don't end up using the same build the entire time. And so for this area, I've been using... Some of the Dragon Cult... Incantations. But yeah, wait. Yeah, that's not fast enough either, apparently. Yeah, this is tough, dude. I don't I don't know the speeds of these spells on some of these fights, so I just I don't know how much time I got. A career ending, yeah, dude. At least I didn't lose those 90k. Oh, I have the shackle even. Forgot I had that. Yeah, we're gonna do dragon, um, dragon. 
Dragon communion incantations when we go to... Yeah, I think I think Farmazula makes sense for that. Might not be the most optimal, but... Oh, that's not so good. Okay, then. Oh my god, bro. You know what I'll blame? I'll blame. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, and that's what I'm going to blame for this, dude. I'm slow. Another reason why I didn't do God Run 3 today. I'm slow today, dude. Yeah, I forgot to use my... Uh, I forgot to use the physic there, so... Let's try this again. But yeah, I mean, it's still not great damage, though, with Frozen Lightning Spear. You can't even get a Frostbite anyway, so... You know what? I'm just going to kill him. I'm I'm not going to worry about anything fancy. I'm just going to fucking kill him, dude. Saved by the pillar. Nothing fancy on this guy. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh. Okay, there we go. Really? I shouldn't. I probably a full charge wasn't even safe there. Uh, Stupid Games, thanks for gifting uh, Booksy and a sub. Thanks so much, dude. We're trying to drink again. Your Moog's a monster when you kind of are relying on status effects. Maybe, maybe best nut ever. Not relying on, but definitely helps when we can frostbite one of some of these bosses with our um frozen dragon lightning spear, whatever that's called. <laughs> no, he's he, this guy's immune to all status effects, which is kind of weird. I I honestly I think they when it comes to these omens and the projections and stuff, because Moog this guy's supposed to be a projection. I believe by Morgoth, right? I honestly think they just got them wrong. Or there was a miscommunication because, you know, some of the projections can bleed, some of them can't. Some, like, it just, it seems not consistent. Slowly but surely. Why would I do that? <laughs> I was trying to headshot him.
Certainly, I can't die on this last bolt. Okay. Wow, the, it's funny that if we didn't come, if we didn't have to come down to fight this guy, this build would have, you know, these these collection of spells, at least frozen lightning spear and lightning spear would have looked so good. But unfortunately, it didn't carry over. Uh, Dream Streak, thanks as uh, thanks as well for the brand new prime sub. Thanks, dude. I guess I should get one more level. Level 69. Okay. So she is somewhere in here, right? Is that correct? At the bottom? Also, is this where that other madness incantation is? Um, what's it called? Is inescapable frenzy down here? I, I don't is it is it the one that's like I can't remember where this is because yeah it's behind the tent yeah yeah okay I think I know where it is uh usually go this way remember when I did the shield run was the first time that I had... Like, I didn't know about one of the areas on the side here. Oh, it's... Oh, it's just right here. Oh, okay. That's easy. There we go. Oh, and there she is. Yeah, the shield was the tent one. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember. So we have to join or whatever. Talk to them. I'll be a maiden. Go to the door ahead. It will surely open. <coughs> and the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of Kale. Okay. I guess I'll do is exactly what you say. Maybe this is this is the cool ending. So we should probably just end the game with this ending. I think. <laughs> Naked on stream. <laughs> guess so. I think I actually got to go nap, you guys. But we still got to do one more Manscaped segment. How <laughs> a blind lady got down there. Teleportation, of course. Time travel. Oh, she, yeah. Her faith to the fingies. True. How would one figure out how to use the gold needle? How would one figure out anything? <laughs> in these games. I I think it, it really just is impossible to do everything that you possibly can without searching it up. It's just impossible. Or someone has to tell you at least. Could 
you please rest your burn me with the flame? Could you please burn me? Uh, am I supposed to kill her or something? What is she asking me to do? Oh. What the hell? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, of course. Thank you. Only burned your eyes off. I have touched them. Why didn't she just go in there herself if she liked getting touched so much? As your maiden, you could have prevented me from having to go in there. To find them. All that there is came from the one great thing came fractures, but the greater will torment everyone and so melted until all. Those who came saying they were yeah, give me the seal, please. The That's the whole reason I did this. Oh. And before she leaves, doesn't give me the seal. <laughs> something like that. Oh, there we go. Are you dead now or something? Did she die? Or what is this? Oh, man. After all that, we did it. How How is this? Uh, I assume this is somber, right? Oh, it's horrendous, really? Okay. You, a pity. You are no longer fit. Our journey together, and remember, should you rise, I will kill you. <laughs> oh, Before what the hell? Night, <laughs> Such is my duty. I made her mad? For allowing you the strength of runes. Goodbye, my companion. Goodbye, Torrent. But is, isn't she, like, part of this ending somehow? I don't know, man. Did I, like... Was I supposed to do stuff for her to be nice to me? Yeah, because I've seen the extra scene in the credits. Anyways, uh... I should probably... Man, we're really only doing three region, regions today, I guess, you guys. Well, we could do Kaled after... We talk about the sponsor of today's stream. Manscaped. Part 3. Can I spell it this time? There we go. Manscaped, you guys got 20% off using that code or you just click the link. Simple enough. You'll be taken to this site where you can get 20%. I mean, some things are more than 20%, but maybe it's just because... I actually don't know why. I mean, 39%. It's more than 20%. By my calculations. And look at that. Edge telling me I got the best price too. I'd love to see it. Um, but yeah, I think I, I don't... Nobody's told me that it wasn't available in their country or something. So I think it's basically available everywhere. You get free international shipping. 20% off. Using... Let me go big cam. Surely I won't... Surely I will not... Uh, restart my PC mid-sponsor segment. Let me pause the timer, I guess, too. Here we go. Yeah, you got a pretty insane deal. They have sent me so far. Let's re we can review. I don't. We can review both of the packages they've sent me so far. So this is the second. Uh, second. Do they ship to your countries as these? I don't know, dude. Maybe this is the second sponsor stream we've done with them. The first sponsor stream they sent me the perfect package, which has been great so far. Um, it's blown anything else I've ever used out of the water, basically. It's a huge upgrade. Uh, but yeah, so this is... The, the lawnmower is meant for just like, you know, general... Um, body hair. Like, you can use it anywhere. It's meant to be just like all-purpose, basically. Oh, yeah, dude. You get the free gifts, I guess. Yeah, you get the free gifts with this one as well. You get the travel bag and you get the boxers. I didn't realize that was part of this free gift. But yeah, that's what you get. That's the free gift. You get this package. It, it depends on... Uh, Depends what you get, but yeah, so this is the one they sent me for today. Uh, you get the beard brush, beard comb, and beard scissors as the free gift as well. So yeah, let me let me go get the stuff that they sent, and, and I will be back in one second so I can show you guys.
Okay, literally one second, dude. I was counting. It might have been a slow second, but... So, where do we start? Let's start with what they sent me last time. So, last time, you get this nice... If you get the... Um, I mean, this one comes with a travel bag, but this one came with the... Uh, let me pull it up. This one came with the perfect package 4.0, where you get this... Um, they call it the shed. The shed is what comes with the perfect package 4.0. It's really nice, dude. So yeah, I've, I've been using this. Like, I've been traveling, in, maybe not like not far, but just, you know, when I'm going places, I take this with me. I'm always prepared, dude. But yeah, so what they gave, what, what comes in this package, I, I don't think I have all this stuff, or I'm not going to show you guys the boxes that I'm literally currently wearing right now, but yeah, you get the uh, lawnmower 4.0. It comes with a bunch of guards as well. So, you know. I don't know if it actually says it on here, but yeah, it comes with a few guards that you just attach onto there. It comes with... But yeah, I actually haven't even used the guards with this. Um, just because I don't have a need, but... It comes with the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. If you're getting this package. Let me read what it says on here, because these ones are funny, dude. Um, okay, we made Crop Preserver for men from all walks of life. It could be anybody, to be fair. Uh, for athletes to stay fresh and counter chafing while running, biking, or weightlifting. For gamers to extend their play. So it's marketed to the gamers, dude. Without getting swamp crotch. <laughs> That's literally what it says on here, dude. That's not. I didn't make that up. And for professionals to make sitting in endless meetings not only tolerable, but comfortable. So there you go. Crop preserver, ball deodorant, is what came, comes in this one. You also get the crop reviver ball toner. Maybe, maybe... So you really pamper I'll yourself, dude. Best not ever. I wish my camera Still would focus on stuff. It's just, it's not very good at it. Uh, Fox, thanks for the 13-month resub as well. Let me read what it says on this one. Oh, wait, maybe this one's not as, as crazy. Yeah, all the ingredients are, are great, and it's high-quality stuff, and it reflects in the price. You know, you pay for, you get what you pay for, but like I was saying earlier, when it comes to hygiene and stuff, I think it's, I think it's easily worth it, and then not to mention you're getting a good deal with my, my code, so it's a good time to do it. Okay, let me read what this says, though, I guess, before we move on. For an anytime pick-me-up, spritz your goods once or twice. Let air dry. That's, that's it. That's what it says. All of this and then no girlfriend. Well, you got to do this to get a girlfriend, dude. Probably. I'm sure it won't hurt your chances. That's for sure. Unless you were talking about me, which <laughs> is not true. But but yeah, so that's... um. I mean, they also had this newspaper that they sent to, which I, do, I, I actually do still have, but I don't think I'm going to go get it. But yeah, so this this is what I've been using for the past month or so. It's great, dude. I can recommend it. But what is more interested, interesting for me, personally, is what they sent me for today. So what they sent me today is the beard grooming kit. And, and so last, when I did the last Bond stream with them, I was, uh, I was, I was going to buy this myself. Because I, I didn't know I was going to get like renewed with them or whatever. I was going to buy this. I, maybe I should pull up a clip so it's not like I'm just pretending. I'm sure people who were there last time um, remembered me saying that. That I was like looking into this one. But then they're like, yeah, we're gonna renew. Like, we'll we'll do it again. And then and then they just sent me this. So so yeah, I didn't even have to buy it. I love when I get free stuff, especially stuff that I'm gonna actually use, not just random. I don't know, not just random stuff. But it comes with a bunch of stuff. Um so yeah, we got the beard hedger. So and it comes in this nice. Let me show this. It comes in this nice uh like travel case as well. Oh. Oops, not really meant to do that, but. And this one, this one's cool. So it's got, I, I think it said it got 20, 20 adjustable settings I, on, on here. So you can just like rotate this, uh, this like knob and you'll get different lengths. Which is very convenient, dude. Much better than having like swap out guards and stuff, I guess. It's fancy. It is fancy. So yeah, we got we got 20 adjustable settings. 
And I haven't used it yet. Like I said, I just opened this uh, today. So <laughs> rotate knob to see different lengths. Rotate your knob. Yeah, true. But I'm going to be trying this out. So let, let you guys know what I think about it. I'm excited to try it out. But yeah, we got the case, got a charger, of course. It's all waterproof and stuff, so you don't really have to, you know, don't have to worry about that. Got to try the scissors, too. Well, yeah, I'll try the scissors for sure. Actually, yeah, I forgot I put this. Where did I put the scissors, dude? Oh, boy. I lost the scissors, you guys. I think I might have put it in the case. Oh, no, just kidding. They're right here. Yeah, and, and then, so, one of the, um, like, the bonus or the free gift you get. Get these beard scissors, dude. I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hairdresser or something. Like, the sound of these things. You guys can't hear it <laughs> because my mic doesn't pick up quite sounds, but it sounds like the hairdresser scissor sounds. Wait, can you guys really hear that? Let me try it again. You guys, it's not picking anything up. But it sounds like the hairdresser scissors, dude. And I'm, you know, I don't know. I'm going to use this. This is probably, I'm probably going to use this quite a bit for the first snip. Okay, well, that's good enough, I guess. Uh, it also comes with the beard shampoo, which people have been telling me is worth using 100%. Like, if you're going to use anything out of, out of these four, for, for me personally, if I'm going to use anything, it's going to be the beard shampoo. That's the most likely thing that I'm going to use consistently. These other things are kind of like a nice bonus, I guess. I'm definitely going to try it out at least. Um, yeah, all great ingredients again. What else we got? Beard conditioner. And I got this whole, this whole like, <laughs> this, I don't know, hygiene station here, man. Please shave on stream. <laughs> I'm not going to shave on stream. At least not right now. Yeah, we got beer conditioner. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I opened the shampoo and smelled it, dude. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah, this is what I was saying. It smells like a man at the spa. That's what I described this as. And it's literally the first thing that comes to my mind. It smells, it smells really good. Except I, I don't know enough about this stuff to actually know what that smell is. I can find it. Lavender, maybe? It's got lavender in it. Lavender oil. Yeah, that smells nice, dude. Um, yeah, we got the conditioner, like I said. Let me see. Let me describe this. Oh, this is the one I couldn't open. <laughs> Let me try to open this. The next 10 minutes of the sponsor segment is going to be me trying to open this without using a knife. I guess I have scissors, bro. What am I doing? Okay, this is not the intention of using these scissors, but... Certainly no live cutting my hand on stream. This isn't working. I, I'm gonna have to open this later. The other one, the other one had the same packaging, but I was able to just like open it easily. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind smelling this just to see what's going on. But that'll have to be for later, I guess, when I go get a knife. Okay, anyways, yeah, beard conditioner. You got beard oil. So this is another thing that people were saying they use. Moisturizing serum. So this one, it's not, I don't think it's scented. It, doesn't, it smells like oil, except not really. It actually doesn't smell like anything, but yeah, it's got all the, like, a bunch of flower oils, a bunch of natural ingredients, sunflower seed oil. Avocado oil, flaxseed oil, sweet almond oil. Got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of natural oils in it. So this is another thing. I, I, I don't. I feel like I don't have a dry beard, but maybe, maybe, maybe I, I, I do, and I just don't know it yet until I actually try this stuff. And then the beard balm. So this is this is something that realistically. Maybe for my mustache, if anything, but realistically, this is the least likely thing for me to use consistently, but I think it's more of a styling thing, I guess, right? 
Smells really good though. Yeah, beeswax got like shea butter and stuff in it. I'm definitely gonna try it out. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Definitely, definitely the oil and the shampoo is is what I'm looking at, probably using consistently. Yeah, and then of course they got one of the bonus things you'll get if you order with the code is the beard brush. Beard brush, and you also get the beard comb. And the scissors, like I said. Girl, handlebar mustache. I mean, maybe if I had long enough, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll play. We're, we're going to play a little bit more. I think we're going to finish Caleb, but. Yeah, so that's what they sent me so far, dude. I got, I got this huge haul from them. It's insane. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of people have already ordered it from the chat, even say, like saying, you know, the. Uh, the stuff is great. And so far, I've had a good experience with it as well. And I will let you guys know once I actually use this stuff, how I feel about it. I guess the only the only downside though is I don't have like a good baseline for these products here because I don't normally use anything. But but still, I'll be able to say if it's good or you know how much I like using it and stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna use it probably right after stream. I'm going to go shower, and I'm going to use it. Uh, Chubb likes it, I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, your girlfriends will like it, you guys. Trust me. First-hand experience. Surely. Surely not fake. I'm sure you guys noticed this newspaper. They did actually send that to me as well, which I, I think I didn't read all of it last time, but I definitely read a decent amount of it. Uh, we're not going to do a shower stream, I don't think. I, I don't. That's probably not even against TOS, though. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, we did some polling earlier, and apparently like 71% of the chat has a beard. Absolute Chad chat, dude. But... Or just, uh, maybe that question was facial hair. I, I can't remember, but. But yeah, dude. I, I'm actually, I'm surprised it's, that seems really high. I don't know why, but. It's not crazy high. Actual Chad chat. Why need girlfriend when Gino exists? <laughs> well, I could probably think of at least two reasons. Yeah, it was facial hair, but that's still a lot though, I feel like. Maybe. But yeah, I, I, I think, so they did send me one other thing as well that I am not going to show, show yet, but yeah, the, the, I mean, they got all these other packages too. So I got this one, I got this one, or no, sorry, I got this one and I got this one. And there's also, they've got, uh, they got this one as well, which comes with a Weed Whacker 2.0, which is like a ear and nose hair trimmer. But yeah, I mean, it comes with a bunch of other stuff. I, I'd be interested in, in definitely trying just some of this, uh, like, general hygiene stuff. Just to see what I think about it. So maybe I'll get it, unless they want to send it to me. Maybe hint, hint. I'll give you the best <laughs> That would be nice, too, but... If not, I'll probably try it out, too. Or if anyone else has tried it out, let me know how it, you know, how you feel about it. Uh, Costco Hot Dog Enjoyer. Thanks for the brand new sub. Actually, insane name. Relatable name. <laughs> the lawnmower give packets to wet nurse. That's true, dude. Yeah, so that's that's what I've gotten from them so far. And like I said, the uh, perfect package is really good. But I this is the one I'm excited about, and I'm excited to try it out. So can I demonstrate how you're supposed to shave your balls with this? Uh, simply turn it on and simply do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you maybe, maybe. that's how you do it. it's very simple two steps best not ever. dark lord game as well thanks for the two-month prime sub so yeah there we go you guys we got um like i said you get 20 percent off free international shipping it just all you got to do is click that link there and it should automatically apply and yeah i guess oh there's also uh i, I guess i didn't mention this but there's also a plan so they they send you um like you can you can get a subscription as well. I haven't really looked much into this, but yeah, you can get you know refills of of the products 
blades and stuff just sent to you recurringly. So I'd be curious about this as well. I wonder if anyone has that, if they could share if that's decent or not, but seems pretty cool. The Wheat Whacker? What is that? Or the Weed Whacker you're saying? Yeah. Oh, from the subscription, really? Is this all what comes in it? I guess I can use first product. Okay, so you can pick. Huh. You can change peak product selections with every shipment. Dang, dude. Okay. Yeah, maybe that makes sense for some people. That is possible. Yeah, if anyone, if anyone picks this up, let me know about it because, the, I mean, it seems interesting to me. Um, what else we got, dude? But yeah, I, I might, uh, I don't know if I need the Weed Whacker, but yeah, we looked at this one. What is the, I didn't look at this one though. Full body shower kit. I guess this is actually scrubber plus body wash. I'd be interested in trying all this stuff out if they want to send it to me <laughs> or I'll just buy it, I guess, if they don't, but maybe I shouldn't have said that because now they're going to be like, oh yeah, you'll just buy it. <laughs> I would love to review this product for them if they would like to send it to me. Buff Bundle Godin? Really? Yeah, maybe. I, I might... I might... Dude, I might... I might get... I don't know if I need this. I don't need this because I already have a bunch of stuff here. Sh shaving mats as well. Magic mat. probably won't get this but maybe i'll just order some individual things i don't know we'll see but there we go you guys manscape sponsor of the stream and we are going to do some more uh sponsor streams with them I, I think we're going to do at least two more probably so so yeah dude i'm looking forward to the next one and, and by the next one i'll be able to you know i'll tell you my experience with the Uh, did I close it? The beard one? Beard Hedger Pro Kit? Yeah, I, I'm... Hopefully I come on stream tomorrow and the beard's looking really good because I'm going to be using that, so... So yeah, dude. There we go. 20% off. Free shipping using that link in the chat. And now back to Elden Ring where we are going to finish Caleb and then I'm going to go to sleep because I'm so tired. Trim the leaves to make the tree look bigger, dude. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. No, Elden Ring... No, no, no. Manscaped's favorite Elden Ring weapon is certainly the Iron Balls, you guys. Let's be real here. You start with the Star Fist and then you get the Iron Balls. That's what happens. Trust me. Okay, so. We have successfully gotten the Frenzied Flame Seal. And now we're going to go into... Caleb. Always left-hand your balls. Always left-hand your balls, dude. Oh yeah, so we're gonna go with the madness stuff. So we got Howl. And this gave a little frenzy. I don't know what we're gonna be able to use that on, but like, that's only for NPCs, right? Hopefully this is good, man. Hopefully I don't regret going with Madness build for Kaelin. I mean, fire damage is good here. Probably gonna... How much stuff do we actually have to do in Kaelin, though? Obviously, we gotta kill Redan. I didn't restart the timer, of course. Yeah, I already killed Anastasia. So... Yeah, we, we can get the... 
fire tier at least. Let me show you guys the power of frenzied burst. Although maybe I should try something else because I've already used frenzied burst. <laughs> Let me see what these other spells do, first of all. Is this the one... This isn't the one that you hold, is it? That does a ton of poise damage? That does a lot of poise damage, right? I'll get boosted. It shouldn't. Alright, what, what strat do you guys want me to do on this avatar? Do you want me to... Snipe him with Frenzied Burst, or try to use Flame of Frenzy on him. And let's see what this animation is, at least. Yeah, it's just a grab. Which one? Flame of Frenzy? Okay, let's try Flame of Frenzy. Yeah, because if you want to see what the Frenzy Burst kill on this guy is, you basically just... I mean, I can do, I can do like, one hit on him. To show what you can do with this insane spell. But... You can stand right here. And you can simply blast them. Just all day long. Oh. Dude, that damage though. This is plus 12, you guys. And it's doing that amount of damage. I didn't even use Howl. Yeah, so that's basically what we're looking at. guys are super weak to fire. I think Flame of Frenzy is just going to instantly kill him. Just get like a rod attack or something. Uh, let's wait for maybe a rod attack. Actually, that attack was probably fine though. Maybe, maybe I don't know when to attack him. The best not ever. Let's go in here, I guess. I, I, I'm going to charge it. Fuck it. Dude. <laughs> that killed him pretty fast. Okay. Joshy boy, thanks for the brand new prime sub. Okay then. So if that would have foreshot him, I think. If I didn't use the frenzied burst at first. Okay, so this is looking pretty damn good. 80 faith, and we go with the fire tier now. And so that was with minus 20% damage there as well. Because all these do fire damage, unless I'm mistaken. Where should we go? No, the fire scorpion charms and Gelmir, which we're not going to go to until way later, so. So yeah, we are missing the fire scorpion. This will go with faith. Now, do we want to use Exegg's Decay over Rot Breath? Is, like, is Exegg's Decay even better? It is? Okay, so we should do it then. Gives me an excuse to fight another boss as well. I might as well do. So let's, yeah, let's go to Exegg's then. Wait, I, I just, I want to see the damage, honestly. I, I just want a, an excuse to go fight x because he's insanely weak to fire. Just great rune bosses? Uh, basically, yeah. Like, it's kind of just arbitrary, but, um, mostly it's just remembrance bosses. Um, we don't have an oil pot, but I guess I, I could go get one. I, I kind of want to use Flame of Frenzy on him, though, which it won't do too much for. Or should I just frenzy burst him? I don't know, just... just uh, A fire pot's 50% more damage, right? So just add 50%. Not sure if there's anything else in Kayla that's worth getting. I guess we could go kill Grail some dragon hearts which might be a good idea wouldn't mind doing that 
Yeah, we'll kill Grail. I was gonna... Part of the reason why I wanted to go block flame in this area is so that I could kill Grail easily, but... We can just, uh... We can just kill the little dragons. But yeah, this is interesting because I've never actually used a, a proper madness setup like this before. I mean, it's not quite perfect, right? We're missing the, the fire, scorpion charm, and golden vow. But damn, this is, a, this is a pretty decent setup, dude. Especially with the frenzied flame seal on top. And I guess the frenzied flame seal, if you were to do incantation all boss no hit, you would obviously go and get, right? Okay, here we go. Dude, almost 6,000. This guy's got so much health, though. Okay, he's already doing this. It's horrible attack. I really want to try uh, Flame of Frenzy on him. But when am I going to get a chance to? Oh, it's going to be so strong. I think my howl ran out. Why would you not follow that up? Would like to use howl. Okay, I wanna I wanna get a clean shot on him with this. stuck. Why is he not following that up, though? You idiot. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> dude. Almost 10,000. Okay, not bad. For sure. Not bad at all, considering like half of those missed. Dude, th this this spell is crazy, man. Have I never used a spell before? I think I, I tried it on my first playthrough and that's it. Dang. And I thought it was slower than this, but I, I, get, I was getting it mixed up with uh, Inescapable Frenzy, I think. Which I don't think is as useful for PvE. Um, okay, so we've got... How many Dragon Hearts? We've got two. So we'll come back here. I'm gonna go kill... Let's go kill... Uh, let's go kill... What's his name? The guy. Let's go on Flippy. We'll go kill Grail, is what we'll go do. Off the speed? Yeah, maybe maybe that's why I'm remembering it being worse than it is. Yeah, we're gonna go kill the little dragons. I imagine it's gonna be pretty easy. Hopefully. I'm really excited to try this on Redan though, because it's probably gonna absolutely decimate him. And we're only plus 12 as well. Only plus 12. With the suboptimal seal. But we are at like 90 faith. 85 faith without the physics. So we're not at 95 faith right now. Oops. Nowhere near this gun. Well, yeah, we do have all kind of the right setup though, right? We've got a bunch of the right setup. You know, we got... I mean, it's, it's not even that good, though. But we do have Frenzied Flame Seal, which is plus 20%. I believe, right? Plus 20%? Maybe, maybe it's 15. Not sure. We got the Fire Tier now. We got Howl. Our setup isn't terrible. But it's, it's nowhere near perfect at this point. It could be so much better with Golden Vow and other stuff. I'm excited to see Rykard with uh, Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. It'll be fun. We'll have a good setup for that. We'll have Howl. We'll have Golden Vow. Maybe, maybe. I'll be the best <laughs> oh my god, dude! Ever. Look at the look at the text on the screen of that. Of my flesh, it disgusted me. I quaved to the swank and cutely of Stealth. 
I ask you to the pretty of the boss machine. Your kind cling to your flesh as if it will not decay and fire you. One day the crude bio whim ass that you caught. <laughs> Fluffy, thanks for the uh, 26 month resub, dude. I don't know why there's a limit on the TTS stuff. It's kind of annoying. I don't. Maybe it's a setting that I can change, but. Where do you get this from, man? Where are these from? Second phase right card? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, apparently Dragon Lightning Strike can do decent there, so. Oh, true, the... Oh, man, I forgot that the... Faith Talismans were in Kaled as well. Oh, yeah, we should go do that. Yeah, let's go get those. Oh, gotcha, Flippy. Okay. Makes sense. Well, I guess we're going to be fighting Commander O'Neill then. Because we got to progress this quest line. Maybe we're not going to finish Kayla today. I just, I'm, there's so much to do on this run. With incantations. I, I wonder if sorcery, uh, sorcery is going to be just as long as this, I think. It's going to be crazy long. Uh, we could definitely get pest reds. I I don't know if I... I don't know what to do. Uh, Sama, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Yeah, let's go kill Commander... Uh, Commander... Whatever his name is. Commander O'Neill. I wish they put a grace next to... Whatever his name is. Yeah, we, we should probably use pest threads if we're... Maybe, maybe... Gonna be doing this quest line anyways ever. to get the blocked canvas talisman. And the other talisman. Uh, Alo dude, thanks for the four month reset. We didn't finish it yet. Um, but we will soon. Surely. Okay, here we go. Kind of missed a lot of those. It's done, maybe? Oh, you bastards. Oh, I was blasting him. Oh, he was so dead. Man. Oh, he was getting totally destroyed. That's a shame. I shouldn't have gone around this way. Uh, yeah, the God Run 2 is something different. Each iteration of the God Run has increased the number of games by one, basically. Okay, let's try again, I guess. Actually missed more this time. Please don't. Aha. Get destroyed. I guess I can do this on horse. Oh, now we're talking, dude. Oh my god, a buff huge mosquito? The real boss has revealed himself. Oh, 
Oh, what? you're f joking, dude. Oh my god, what? How did that happen? Is he gonna do his buff thing or what? Joking. Oh, goodbye. Mosquito literally harder than the boss. Destroyed. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, we're gonna get the Fate Talismans. I guess that's another reason why coming to Caleb before Mountaintops is a good idea. Now, how, do that, how does that make... How does that work out for our talisman slots, though? Obviously, the, the two-finger heirloom's gone. I guess Godfrey Icon, you know, we, we're not always using it. But it's pretty strong, though. Count Dragon Barrow? Uh, yeah, I counted as all the same area. We're just going to do a little skip up here. Uh, not yet, CJ. Still working at it. Also, yeah, I, I did get hit in Demon Souls last run we did on Wednesday. After we made it to game four. But I did redo Demon Souls and I got it no hit, no problem. It, it was it was really just the one... You know, that one enemy, I guess, right? That, a situation I had never seen before. So. Be the best not ever. This should one-shot, I would assume. Yeah, it's no big deal. Now that I've learned about that... I think I solved the strat, so... Should really just never get hit in Demon Souls again, I don't think. A little skip. Uh, Sharp Troy, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub. How did you aggro, though? But no, the God Run 3, I, I mean... Yeah, last stream was the... Or last God Run 3 stream was the first time... I had made it. Whoops. This is the first time I had made it. Here we go. Through Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, and Sekiro all in one attempt at the God Run 3. Because even when I made it to game 7, I, I didn't know hit Sekiro. I'm just going to kill this boss because why not? Already here. So yeah, it was the first the first time getting all three of those games in a row no hit. And and yeah, so I think it's shaping up pretty well. So yeah, this is the weak version. It's not I, I don't remember how strong this is, but it's not great. Better than nothing though. Wow. That's some damage. Dang. It's an early game boss, kind of, but still. Jeez. Almost, if all those hit, that would have one-shotted him. I guess, do these also pierce? These projectiles? It looks like they do. Pinwheel hits? Um, I got hit in catacombs a few times because I was doing a bad strat, basically. Like, I, I got hit to the skelly around the corner because I, I was, like, shooting an arrow against the wall and he was turning, but I shot the arrow too far to the right. But now, now I realize that I can just shoot him from the corner and it's just so easy. And then I I fell down. I, like, I missed the parkour and I died that way. I did, Mad King. Yeah, I got to test it out. Because it, it seems interesting. Can you give me as well, mate? I think we gotta quit out here, right? Probably lay boys with 
I guess we could maybe do that. Well, it's not really, it, it's it's like a, it's not a new strat for the boss, but it's a, it's a strat that gets you full beast meter before going in, right? And it's very interesting. I got to try it out and see what I can do with it. There's, there's no question for actually killing the boss quickly on a no hit run. It's really good. But... It's not like a free shadows kill, you know. It, yeah, like it's it's very interesting, and I gotta test it out and see if I should start doing it. I think I I probably should, assuming I didn't I didn't actually look at the setup of getting. So you get the snake guy in front of the boss arena, and then he like his AI gets all messed up. You start punching him, sort of like what you do on Rom. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not like a scripted strat though. Alright, let's head back down. Uh, region lock means that... Oh yeah, surely it's new DLC. But yeah, but for anyone who's not aware, region lock basically means that... At least for this run, it means that we can't leave a, a, an area such as Limgrave or Kaled until we kill the main boss. Or we can't progress past, I guess is more accurate because we can leave it like we can go to areas that we've already completed such as limgrave at this point or wherever but well, something so i decide i've only perhaps well i must i must okay do we use pest threads or not cuz i i think i can buy the talisman now right or is that later I can't remember. Thank for giving the <sighs> and stare. You've been a as thank of the lost. Oh, indeed. It seems the however no, as I've a is to be. F oh, that's annoying. Do so we actually got to go do this other stuff? Ah, oh, man. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm going to cure the frenzy. I guess I, I might because we're already kind of starting here, but I guess I got to switch my spells because we're back in this area. We're just going to go get the prosthesis or whatever you call it. I th yeah, you could you could probably kill her, but if we want to get access to pest threads, then we gotta go do this part. Gotta go get the prosthesis first. Man, this this run has taken us everywhere, dude. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure when we did the other region locked runs, we were done by this amount of time, almost, dude. And we're not even past the fourth region yet. We're just getting started, dude. There's a lot of setup to do on spell builds, man. Not that there's any issue with it, it's just, you know, just in comparison. Yeah, maybe what we'll do is we'll use Pest Threads for Fire Giant. Like, uh, for a little bit, maybe, because I, maybe. you know, we all know what it does, it just I'm totally destroys him. Ever. But maybe we go, I don't know, I was going to go with just like the Bestial Incantations on, on Fire Giant. But we can just throw in pest threads, because why not? Just like physical, physical damaging incantations. That's the theme for him, I guess. Uh, Rydayski. Rydayski. Thanks for the three month resub. Oh, yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we're not testing the repost, I guess, on this one. Yeah, we're going to be doing some PvP this week, you guys, I think. Do some invasions and stuff.
It should be fun. I got to get a character set up, though. And honestly, it's really fun in these games to set up a character without Cheat Engine. It just takes forever, though. The only problem. Now, I'm going to blast the guy with a Lightning Spear. How dare you survive that? It is, it's very fun to set up a character with, like, legitimately, but again, it just, it takes so long. Yep, classic Dark Souls lock on right there. Yeah, the guy 10 kilometers down the road. Let's lock on him instead of the one right in front of me. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to go get the grace, man. These guys aggro just forever. Yeah, so for anyone who's unaware, they patch 110 had some really good PvP changes in it that um, basically one of my biggest issues with the PvP in this game was the passive poise. And they removed it mostly. So it means that, you know, if you have a, a million poise, full bull, go bull goat armor and... Uh, you know, poised talisman and all that stuff. Previously, you would be able to just fully tank through a bunch of hits from, from smaller weapons. And so it just, I don't know. I just, I don't think it works in these games very well, but they changed it. So now most weapons will poise break even at max poise. So it makes the PVP much, much more interesting in my opinion. Now, I think a lot of things are broken because of it though. Did I give it to her? I gave it to her, right? But it's a really good, it's a it's a step in the right direction for sure, in my opinion. So yeah, we're going to be doing some PvP. I did a lot of PvP in DS3. I'm sorry, Millicent. Oh yeah, and Hyper Armor's, yeah, Hyper Armor's back now for sure, so. I really hope I <laughs> did the right thing there. Oh yeah, always teabagger, dude. Yeah, I forgot. So yeah, I'm excited to try it out, man. I was almost going to try it out today. But I just, yeah, I got to figure out if I'm going to set up a character legit or not. When I did DS3 PvP on all my characters, I obviously I just used Cheat Engine because it really just takes forever to set up a character properly. It's fun to do, though. It's fun to do once. Let's go on Arm. I'll go back, dude. Oh, such. Well, see you later. First hit roll catch you, you're dead. Yeah, the, it's it's um it's really interesting, you know? The the fact that they would make such a big change to the game after this amount of time. Like I, I thought fast rolling was a big change to the game, right? When they introduced that. Or well they didn't introduce fast rolling, but when they changed fast rolling to make it crazy, I thought that was a big change. But in comparison, man, it's just nothing, dude. All right, we got both t canvas talismans. I guess probably the best setup for me right now is sacrifice a bit of damage and just go with the better spell casting time. I think that's better. Okay, there we go. We got it. I guess we're also not changing the ending, by the way, because I just locked myself out of it, so. DLC news in a few weeks. Hmm, maybe. I, I, that'd be cool, I guess. I just realized I used the wrong spell on the guy, but it's okay. I used a non-madness spell. Let's go on uh, Chaco Nate. What's up, dude? All right, we're finally going to the boss, you guys. I think we've gotten all the rights set up here. <laughs> yeah, run invalid. 
I've already done that numerous times. You said that... Oh, did you say it? Or said what? Yeah, I mean, we can turn off auto mod. I mean, usually people don't say anything weird in here anyways. At least I've never seen it. Maybe the mods ban it quickly enough. Except I can see when mods ban something, so... Really not too often, dude. Uh, welcome back, Valhalla. Yeah, the PvP is cool, man. It's, it's, uh... It's inter interesting. I think it's still in not a perfect spot. That's for sure. But it's just, it's so much better. I should be. And I, I have done a little bit. I've done a little bit since the change because I just wanted to try it out for myself and it feels way better. When you can use smaller weapons and it's just not getting poise broken all day long. Or, or yeah, small weapons and them actually being able to poise break instead of being poised. Like crazy. Oh, that's that's horrible, Hunter. But I guess, I mean, I don't know. Obviously not in this stream, it doesn't matter, but I could definitely see streams where that would be required, you know? So, I understand it, but it's just, it's, it's I don't know. Funny, and it's also unfortunate that that's even required. Scepter spinning weapon infinite combo. I, I'm curious how much they tested stuff. But now. You know? How much did they test all this all the all this poise change stuff before they put it live? Because I just I don't think that they tested there's no way they tested everything, that's for damn sure. Oh, I'm excited to see this damage, you guys. excited to see this damage. Watch him not even be good. It should be good, though. Fire's okay on him. We got a good build. And yeah, I think the best part all, about all of it, too, is that the PvE stuff is all the same, right? All the PvE poise is the same, because I'm, I'm one of those people that... I remember the first time, maybe, you know, when I talked about passive poise in older games like DS1 and saying how I really didn't like it. That was from a PvP perspective. I was talking about PvP and how bad it is for PvP, but... At least in my opinion. But passive poise in PvE, I think, is better. Here we go. Am I gonna hit him? Not bad. I would say. Am I going to get proc? Oh, if I got proc, I was so dead there. I need, like, those madness things. Just proc it. Who cares? Actually, surprised we didn't get a stun on him. I we would stun with this. It's probably really close to being stunned. But yeah, I think that's one of the best parts about it, right? Is that it doesn't affect PvE boys at all. And that's pretty damn good, dude. And this just... Destroyed him. No problem. It's probably the strongest thing we've used so far, even. It just melted him. Here we go. Alright, so now we have we have four regions done. We've got four things done. We're gonna be heading into mountaintops. Are we gonna do it tomorrow? Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I forgot the offhand seal. <laughs> Dude. Well, just add like 15 to 20%, whatever the seal is. So yeah, what have we done? We have done all of this stuff. So we're going to be going into mountaintops next stream we do this. Um, and... Farm is, so for mount tops, I'm I'm planning on using the physical incantations. I'm not sure if I want to use pest threads because we all know it's insanely good on fire giant, and I've done it before. So I, I kind of want to try sticking with just the bestial incantations for him. 
So we'll do that for mountaintops. And then for Farmazula, we're going to be using the Dragon Communion incantations. And then after we're done Farmazula, we get Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike. We're going to circle back to using the Dragon Cult incantations to Gelmir. And use Ancient Dragon Lightning Strike on, uh, on Rykard. And then we'll go from there, dude. So, yeah, there we go. That's the plan. I guess we'll continue it next stream. I don't know about next stream, but tomorrow we're going to do bingo practice with Bree. We'll probably do a few rounds of practice, but then I'll do something afterwards. I don't know if I should do Godwin three attempts or if we should continue this run. Maybe we can finish it up tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. You will see. But anyways, yeah, thanks for hanging out, you guys. Uh, make sure you want to get your hands on some Manscaped stuff. Link in the chat. Let me type this in, I guess. Mans. I don't know how I have such a hard time typing this. Yeah, you get 20% off and you get a free gift depending on the package.